Listen up, sports fans. Your favorite sports book, BetUS.com, is back for our 28th year of NFL action. With the industry's biggest sign-up bonus of up to 200%, BetUS offers our members the opportunity to cash in on all your favorite sports, including NFL, NBA, MLB, and more. We've also got hundreds of new casino games, including the coolest new European slots, and our live dealers are waiting for you at the table. Sign up at BetUS.com today to get into the action. BetUS, where the game begins. This episode of the Darian Hopkins Sports Show is sponsored by SeatGeek. SeatGeek is the number one platform to browse, discover, and experience best events in town all in the palm of your hand. From heart-pounding concerts that can make you dance to nail-biting sports games that can keep you on the edge of your seat, SeatGeek has it all. From exclusive deals and personalized recommendations tailored just for you. Use the promo code DHopkins and get $20 off your first purchase. So join the movement. SeatGeek. Get up, get out, and get tickets. Are you ready to take your energy to the next level? W Energy is a proud sponsor of the Darian Hopkins Sports Show, your go-to source for all things sports. W Energy isn't just another drink. It's packed with natural ingredients, zero sugar, and no fillers. Whether you're training like me, grinding through work, or just leveling up on your favorite game, W got you covered. The Darian Hopkins Sports Show is powered by W Energy, and you can be too. Experience the sustained energy and enhanced focus to keep me at the top of my game. Here's an exclusive offer for the Darian Hopkins Sports Show fans. Using promo code DHopkins at checkout and get 10% off your first purchase. So don't wait. Boost your energy and take the world today. W Energy. Fuel your greatness every step of the way. What's up, man? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are here, and we are live for another edition of the Darian Hopkins Sports Show. I'm your host, Darian, the Darian Hopkins Sports Show, and I have my co-host here, Mr. Brian Snow from Snow in the Morning. And just to let y'all know, I will be having a special guest up here from the Raider Nation Hotspot. He'll be joining us just to talk about some topics as well. Um, He is on the West Coast, so he did let me know when he was going to be on. So when he hop on, he hops on. So shout out to Raider Nation Hotspot, um, a part of my Nothing But Raider podcast to come on here to just talk sports, nothing Raiders, just talk football, talk <laughs> basketball. Did not want no man thinking that I'm being biased because of that. No, he's just a partner of my. Okay, you know, wait a minute. You don't want me thinking you're biased, biased, considering the fact you have a background behind you that is all silver and black. I mean, what you want me to say? Hey, listen, if once you, I've been on this show and it breaks on you, I think a background like this of 49er stuff, then we can talk. Um, well, considering the fact my wife loves the 49ers and she's building me a new office and she gave me some suggestions in the next few days, you will see. Say, listen, that that's just that's just what it is, man. That's just what it is. And speaking of the man of the hour, my boy. Raider Nation hot spot. Hopefully, <laughs> it will make sure. Oh, thumbs up. You good, man? To make sure he give me a thumbs up before I bring him one up here. But, <laughs> oh my god! So we just waiting for him to get back on. So, so we not going to do that. We not going to do that to him. But make sure y'all hit the like button. Oh and yes, we are. <laughs> make sure y'all follow us on social media. Y'all see both of them down there. As well, you see both our uh, social media platforms down there. So make sure y'all go follow us on there. Uh, go to SeatGeek.com. And use the promo code D Hopkins. And what's yours? What's yours, bro? Snowman what's- Multimedia. Snowman Multimedia. Yeah. So 
go to Snowman Multimedia for Seat Geek, or you go to Darren Hopkins Sports, or you can use D Hopkins. Uh, $20 off your first purchase. Same thing for Snowman Multimedia. $20 off your first purchase. NFL season is coming around, so if you want to get your tickets, make sure you want to go get those and use both of those there on As CD. We begin the road to New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. What's going on, RC? RC, what's going on? But we definitely are in the building. And just to let you know, Wednesday, this would be this episode will be on the Block 105 radio on Wednesday, 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So make sure y'all take a listen. So that means I can't see any crazy on weights. The, <laughs> on the Block 105 radio. And hopefully when I get on um, Snowman's radio station back starting in September, uh, it's going to be really fun to do. But Labor Day. Labor, Labor Day. Day you'll ca- Labor Day, you'll catch uh, Darren Hopkins on, on uh, Snowman Multimedia Sports Network five days a week. Well, I don't know about five days a week, but I mean, because, you know, NFL season around the corner. I, I don't know if I could be on there five days a week, but I definitely will be on there once or twice. Trust me. Trust me. No, listen. Consider it. What? <laughs> yeah, listen, that's, that's all I'm saying to you, brother. That's all I'm saying to you. <laughs> so we, we, all, we all good, brother? We all good? All right. ready? Without further ado, one of my co-hosts, one of the three or four co-hosts for Nothing But Raider podcast, but he has his own YouTube channel at the Raider Nation Hotspot. Great content over there. My boy, I Beavers. What's going on, man? What's up? What's up? What's up, people? What's goody? What's goody? What's goody? How you doing today, man? man? I'm going to fix I'm this good. up. Matter good, family, good. Happy to be here. Good to meet you, man. Good to meet you. Yeah, that's that's my boy, Snowman Multimedia. We we got a lot to talk about today. Uh, I know I put the, uh, I know it was a lot of topics um, that I did send to y'all, but oh well. (laughs) I didn't. (laughs) Oh well. Um, Matter of fact, I might have to to change it. You realize, I I got a fully loaded soundboard over here ready for you. Uh, Listen. Yeah, he's he's the king of soundboards. If you if you understand, see. you you will understand the more you see him on here. Uh, <laughs> don't start to get him. Here he go. Uh, he got jokes. Hey, hey see this, this is what I deal with on the Darian Hopkins or show. This is what I deal with. You started it. You said it. You this said is, it. So you're not gonna sit here and do that. Travesty. But no, it's a travesty of what's on the uh, Madden cover that Darian yelled at here, me here, about. Here. Okay, just to let you know, let you know, Hobby is this man is a 49ers fan, so he's going to troll. Oh God. Yeah, okay. right. <laughs> he's going That's to good. troll. So I have two reasons why I'm trolling the Raiders. One, they're not in Oakland, and two, they're not in Los Angeles where they belong. Okay. And three, so, some some might say that, or others might say we're the best stadium and the best uh, city, and and as for who football, told that lie? A team in, in the in the whole country. Um, well, we've seen. I don't know Bill Belichick. I guess he was just playing the, <laughs> when he came to see uh, our facilities. It's, Look, it's Bill Belichick. Does yeah. that tell you anything? Mm, he doesn't out- ever tell. Y'all got the one thing he he he, he like got busted out to years. say was, Wait a minute. this is the Y'all best facility I've ever years. seen in my life." You guys have <laughs> you guys still years live in a the reasons to be mad old at Bill from Bay January of 2002. Find the lie. <laughs> all right, listen, I'm done with you Niner fans, man. We've moved on. Okay, bigger, better yeah, things. I, I, I'm tired of arguing. I, I'll argue with him every week on this show. So Y'all can't I, tell that. Me. You can't tell that lie with that two foot smile on your face, man. Listen, <laughs> I, I always smile. I always smile, especially in the presence. I know. Of I know fans. it. I know just, it. Uh, I know it. <laughs> but gives it, me an extra little something. It's all good though. It's all good though. But you know, it's it's all it's all fun with uh, with us. You know. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. We'll talk. We'll talk about on Nutball Raider podcast what Colin Coward had to say about our Raiders. You know, I heard it on JT the Brick show. So we'll Nutball uh, Raider podcast tomorrow at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. You definitely don't want to miss that because that you know, I have I, to hear. Oh, it's going to be fun. It's going that to be fun. Ripping a new hole into Colin Coward's mouth 
Yeah, I'm gonna just punch him in the mouth when I talk about it tomorrow. It's gonna be definitely it's a hot but mess. Just, hot just mess. make sure you pack a lot of n- uh, brass knuckles in those boxing gloves. Okay? Oh sure, absolutely. I <laughs> might do. I might do the Logan few, Paul at SummerSlam. I have That's a few punches of my. I have a few punches of my own to deliver to Mr. Colin Cowherd. <laughs> Doesn't um, everybody? Yeah, right. <laughs> that shit. <laughs> I mean, that's so absolutely since the, like, look since the ESPN days. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but, but let's, 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 get, let's get down to this to this topic, and I know I've I've actually reiterated this topic so many times um, on social media about mm-hmm. this whole um, women's boxing thing at the Olympics, right? So about the gender dispute that's going to remain mm-hmm. in um, the Olympic Games. Let me just let, let let me just people give y'all an understanding of what this story is really about. All right. This story is really about a woman boxer that's from Algeria mm-hmm. that was born with more testosterone than estrogen. She was she's she was never born a man. Mm-hmm. She was born with more X XY chromosomes. So 46 yeah, seconds within the man. fight the woman the, the woman quit the woman quit because she felt as though she was taking too many hard blows because of that i don't know if y'all read the article on it but i feel as though now they're trying to for me they're trying to make it seem like it's it's a bigger issue where they allow her to be in what almost 20 fights and she lost to nine women already even though she has xy chromosomes so Mm -hmm. i'm really confused on that and i have talked about this many a times this is a woman the father has came out and said that she was born woman she has a period she can have kids all of that Mm -hmm. just because she's born with more testosterone and estrogen does not make her a man because she didn't inject it in herself to become a man or yeah. a man injecting estrogen to herself become a trans woman. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, when I mean, it comes to this, and, and, and when it comes to this as well, I heard I seen an article has the other boxer has apologized for misgendering her because in Algeria they don't allow that and they go to jail when you're if you're a transgender. So mm. snowman, I'm gonna start with you first on this. Yes, sir. What what is what is your thoughts on this gender dispute thing? Because they trying to say that she was, she was trying to they were trying to say that she was um ineligible to be in the Olympics, but she but at the same time she met all the eligibility criteria according to the International Olympic Committee that's that stated earlier today. So, did she? What, what is your thoughts on this story in itself? Did she compete in the Olympics? Yes. Did she pick up a victory? The girl quit in 46 seconds. The girl that quit in 46 seconds. Yeah. And that's that. Matter of fact, let me go. Let me go more to let me go more to combat on that ass. Fatality. There. You want my thoughts? Bingo. No, but this whole thing of like. Logan Paul and Jake Paul going on Twitter talking about transgender shit and be able they to fight to in this situation. But this situation is blank. not even about transgenders. They yeah, just try to throw it different. out there. You know different what? Situation. You know that's the argument they want to have. If they do, then we can talk about that. I mean, we can talk about it. I mean, like scientifically and stuff. I mean, so you know, the guidelines for IOC means that a transgender woman um, is needs to demonstrate that they have the hormone levels testosterone levels that are low like below like super low for like a year mm-hmm. and uh i don't know that if should be the only question understand what that does to to someone's body and, and how that impacts their ability to retain muscle mass and strength um, and endurance and all that stuff it's a it's a net huge negative mm-hmm. uh-huh. so yeah i think you know there's one perception and then there's like the actual signs of what happens and th- yeah they're different so yeah. but she met the guidelines she she yeah. met the guidelines. she's not even going through that right she's yeah. it's, it's, look it's okay to um 
let me find let me find this button here. I have yet to play this one for Darian on the show, but I think this one is that's necessary and it ain't the it, it ain't the jeopardy music trust me i already oh my played. god I'm no, it's I'm not really that one it's not that one it's logan and jake paul for seeing the success of someone mm -hmm. that was mislabeled it's like they're saying i'm as mad as hell and i'm not gonna take this anymore because they're not getting their way that's part one. Part two, they're both saying, I've never been so humiliated in all my life. Because they got socked, because they verbally and twitterly got socked in the mouth. Agree. I'm the lie. Agree. <laughs> I mean, Logan Paul, I mean, Logan Paul, you did lose the summer, you lose that summer slam. So, I mean, you lost Look. to a, you lost to an actual you lost to L.A. Knight. That's one of my favorites. So if you know who L, whoever know who, and whoever in the chat know, know who exactly L.A. Knight is, I'm happy that he won. I happy that he beat Logan Paul. I'm happy L.A. I love may L.A. I, may I invoke Stone Cold Steve Austin? I, I said that on my Twitter. Please. I said I said on my Twitter that he does have the like the, he remind like the way he talks mm -hmm. to give off Stone Cold Steve Austin in some ways. I'm and glad I kinda, LA Knight. I kind of like it like a modern day Stone Cold. It's like a, I wouldn't say PG 13 because wrestling is not really PG 13. But no, not anymore. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's not PG 13 anymore. But I, 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 I kind of like the way they have LA Knight right now. I kind of like it. So he Logan stomped Paul, a mud hole in his ass out. and walked it dry. Period. End of story. That's that. So. I mean, I saw the, uh, just just before we go into our next topic, I wanted to throw it out there that she did, ESPN did have a video of her in an interview, which you know she's you know she's from Algeria, so she knows she has a different language. But they did have yeah. the at the bottom saying that they need to put a stop to bullying because now she's being bullied because of this, and now it, it's going to be they, now they saying it's going to be hard for her to compete because they they try to identify her as the wrong gender, mm -hmm. everything is nature. So people. I understand if this was like a Leah Thomas situation where this person was actually a transgender male that transitioned to a woman and tried to be on the women's swim team at the University of Penn and try to go into the Olympics. I understand that because I don't agree with that at all. I don't. Do I have anything against transgenders? No, I don't. But do I feel like transgenders should have their own ways of playing sports against, you know, the heterosexuals or cisgender people? Yeah, I think they should have their own sports. They transgenders against transgenders. That's just my personal opinion. That's just me. But I just feel like if it's this, this is not the case. But if this was a Leah Thomas case, then we, we might have a different conversation here. But it's not that. So I just wanted to, to throw that out there. Like, stop the bullying. She's not, she never was born male. It just happens. You know what I'm saying? It was, she was born with that disease. You know, I have a friend. Uh, I don't know if you know uh, Snowman Key, Key Williams from Key in the Building. Yeah, she born, yeah, yeah. She's born female, had a child, and everything. Mm -hmm. but she, she grows a lot of hair. She was born with yeah. more testosterone and estrogen, and she have to take pills to to, to try to level that out. Right. Does it make her it a bit? It's it's you know it, ha it happens. Okay. I mean, people just yeah. need to get over it's themselves. Yeah, yeah. It's a scale, bro. Um, so people. People just need to get over themselves. They do. They do. And they made it a big thing on social media, especially Twitter. Way Twitter was a big, big thing. My which God. Is why, which is why I don't communicate on Twitter. And it was a, it was a few it was a few people that I actually followed uh, in this sports community that had to unfollow because they just didn't understand what, what was being comprehended to me. And mm -hmm. the fact that you just calling a person transgender and you don't know what the heck a transgender is, then you just right. don't, you don't need to talk about it. <laughs> if you don't know or don't <laughs> research, this is, this is what my dad and my wife have taught me. If you don't know or you don't research it, shut up. That part. <laughs> that part. If you don't you know go. or don't research it, shut up. Yeah, and I can't go since this is being re-aired on a radio station, I can't push the button I really want to push. <laughs> hey, I can't. It's, only, it's only an internet radio, so listen, go ahead. You they they play all oh. kinds of crazy gangster music and stuff on that radio. Go okay, ahead. 
Then I Go got ahead. then I got this for the Pauls in terms of their attitude. How do you fuck that up? How do you fuck that up? <laughs> All these snow, all these snow. Listen, make sure y'all go check out Snowman in the morning every every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, right? Here on Snowman Multimedia YouTube channel. Y'all make sure y'all go check that out. Yes. The sound bites that he has over there is just even crazier. But moving on. <laughs> the look moving on Darian's face when he said, but move, but moving on. And he threw, his, on. he threw his neck out there and his eyes got wide because yeah. I had the feeling he picked he peeked at my board and and saw I was loading up some more stuff. Yeah, over here. yeah. So moving on at this point, Simone Blouse, man. Simone Blouse, man. This woman, I don't know, understand that she just won silver on the um on she the uh, floor, beam. and she did fall off the beam earlier today. Her and um Suni Lee both fell off the beam today, but this girl is winning gold after gold after gold. Yeah. yeah. Is she one? I mean, of, the question for y'all is is she's one of the greatest athletes of all time when it comes to this because even before her it was Gabby Douglas, you know? Yeah. So yeah. Just, um, if we if we did have to break her one of the greatest of all time, where would you put her? Like what so, would you put her? I, I think that she's in the I have a class. This is the Serena class. It's when um, you're the best at your sport, regardless of gender. Um, and that's uh, basically what Serena is, what Simone is at this point. Um, you know, her achievements are are crazy. Let's see, like 25 uh, medals of the world championships. Mm -hmm. uh, I think she started this thing with like seven medals and she's going to add more in this Olympics. Um, she's dominant in multiple different areas, right? Um, not just, you know, she's an all around, you know, master, you know, and so mm -hmm. because of that and that, I mean, I, there's no one else that dominated like she has in this sport. Nope. Period. Right. Just, and so, you know, her and Serena are, are by themselves. It's just like absolutely uh, outsizing any other competition in their sport, like no other. It's like the closest thing um, after that is probably maybe what Jerry Rice did in football or what Wayne Gretzky did in hockey. Right. So, yeah. Do I so, so do we put? We, we just talk about just athletes, Jordan not just about gender. Oh, go ahead, Snowman. Go ahead. My bad. Do we mention Michael Jordan in this conversation also? Um, because absolutely. Michael Jordan is good, but he's not as I don't see him as so far uh, away from his competition as these people were. Oh, you right? know like, it. Yeah, I mean, he was oh, really you know. good, but there were players that are. At least in the same arena, right? Such as and terrible, right? You know, we can get into it, but I mean, you know, I think that Kareem and 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 you know has a hey a strong Captain, Captain, so. Captain Scott Captain Skyhook. Okay, I will not argue. I have been humbled. And then another by uh, thirty-three. <laughs> another female that I think is is moving into that that space is Clarissa Shields, and uh, as yeah. far as a combat fighter, yeah, um, her dominance is pretty unparalleled um she may be the most dominant combat fighter that we've seen so mm -hmm. um what's up ladies good job <laughs> yeah but I, this is a it's fun to watch it is it's think, it's very fun to watch yeah it's, it's, it's fun to watch with her especially with especially her getting a silver in on the floor was kind of surprising to me because that's where she's really great at when yeah. she's on the floor so for her to get a silver instead of a gold was kind of shocking to me but I understand. It, 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 it's part. It's part of it. She still yeah. gets a medal regardless. She was in the top three of it, even though she didn't get for for the for the um, balance beam. But it's okay. It's it's, it's mm -hmm. absolutely fine. But for me, yeah. I have to put her up there and like probably. I wouldn't say I can't say top five, but she's definitely damn near top ten all time athlete. And mm -hmm. I don't care if it's male or female. I don't mm -hmm. care if it's male or yeah. female. Because yeah, I mean, she, what, what has she, what she done? Every single time she gets on the floor, world championships, Olympics after Olympics, nobody's nobody's beating her. Like, yeah, yeah. she might have beat herself because have she, to remember, she stepped away in. Right. Uh, she stepped away four years ago because 
she was in the she was in a bad headspace. Um, wow. My wife and I talked about this, and when you're not in a good headspace, you step away mm -hmm. until you get until you get what's the word Jody used recalibrated. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Boy, she ever calibrated. And then so. Yeah, that worked. Didn't it? Yeah, that worked. Um, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's her, Michael Phelps, uh, Usain Bolt, are we like the most dominant Olympians, I think, mm -hmm. that we've had. Um, and then, you know, I, I just think that that what she yeah, new faces too, like Noah Lyles, which we'll get into next, is Shakari Richardson that's going to come up Definitely. right behind them. So I'm waiting for Richardson to really bust on the scene after oh. all that she's been. Lit, there's, there's, yep. what does the what do the young guys say? There's levels to this. Mm -hmm. She's at a level where she's like knocking on the door. But wait till Los Angeles. That is all yeah. I will say. Yeah, yeah you're I probably think, right yeah. there. Yeah, she's gonna she kill over her first. I think that's really impressive. But the girl from St. Lucia was just I don't know if y'all watched that race, but the girl from St. Lucia was just he just came off out the out the gate bleeding the yeah. whole time. Mm -hmm. Kari had a slow yeah. start. As always. He almost got there, but yeah, the girl from St. Lucia, like my God. Yeah. <laughs> but um well they, they, she still has faster times to run, which is nice. Um, yeah, so she's got cool she's, she's got faster times to run and she's got records to break. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which I think she will, especially when it's going to be at LA. Olympus is going to be definitely good at LA, but I don't know if it'll be good as Paris, though. Paris is pretty good this year when it comes Los to Los Angeles. Did you say LA? Yeah, we got this. Los Angeles is going to blow away Paris. I don't know. Who he is. No, you don't understand, bro. You want you want Olympic I seen this year in and Tokyo wasn't even this competitive. You're like, talking before. about show production mm -hmm. in this Hollywood. How the Super Bowl was. This is Super what we Bowl do, 56. man. This is what we do, man. This, yeah. Think of how think of how yeah. it was for Super Bowl 56 in Inglewood. Okay. When they when when the Olympics come to Los Angeles. In four years, buckle up. It's going to be the first oh, I got to fully say. modern Olympics. We're going to show everybody how it's done. Buckle, yeah. buckle up, man. Yeah, buckle up. Yeah, it's going to be cold. something else. So let's, yeah. let's, let's move on, then. Let's move on. Let's keep it where the Olympics is at. And that's no allows. I don't know if y'all yeah. saw the 100-meter race. A lot of controversy towards this. Yeah, and yeah. me personally, I watched not it for wrong. me. Lyle's won, and that's that. No, 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 no. We're not going to just do that. We're not just. I going did to do that because I understand this is USA bias from Brian Snow right now. This is me just pick, USA bias. This, this is me I'm just picking honest, at you I'm right. Be honest with you. This is me just picking no at you right now. He won. That's how bad it. That's how bad the controversy was. He didn't know he won. He thought. The no, guy from Jamaica won. Not like that. Well, your feet don't count. So it goes by. They said it go. It goes off torso. If I'm not mistaken. Yes. You're, yeah. It's track. It's torso. You got to lean. That's, That's what the lean is for. As I <laughs> said, yeah. veterans know what I mean. And it that. still, it still was kind of. It still was kind of like if you look at it in regular speed and you're mm -hmm. watching this live, you yeah. your first thought was, "Oh, the, the guy from Jamaica won." Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. Be like that, yeah. be, Noah started out slow. <laughs> Don't get me wrong; he started out slow. Yeah, and he got As better. Always. But the more yeah. that I, the, but the the more that I saw in in, rec, in in that time in the t in the live speed, at first I'm like, oh damn, the Jamaican boy won. I, that's that's my first initial thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And then that's when awesome. I found out that that Noah won and they slowed it down. Okay, the tippy toe got it, but the foot was our the foot was way crossed from the guy from Jamaica, but they don't go off the foot, it goes off the torso. Yeah. And you can kick your feet out. And so right. to, to stop that, you gotta lean. Yeah, it's torso. And yeah. a lot of people even the guy from um the guy it, the guy from NBC that actually did the commentary, he said he felt like they got it wrong. I mean maybe he doesn't I know mean there's so many pictures work. that came out. And saying that it, saying that it was rigged, the fix was in. 
da 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 da. If that's what they, clear, if, that's what they, if that's what they if that's what they decided to pick Noah for, I mean you can't be mad at that. A question Noah didn't even that know I he posed. wanted to the numbers came out. A question that I posed <laughs> earlier in the show, which is going to make Darian laugh again. How do you fuck that up? How do you <laughs> fuck that up? Jesus Christ. If there is a picture, it's a clear picture. That's why they have a photo finish. If you just look at that photo, you'll see how they finish. It's cool. Yeah. So. But, uh, they, they, they consider it as a, uh, as a, as a controversy, controversy win, but we just saw Noah Lyles just blow the people out in the semi in the the, the semifinal for the two hundred. So, <laughs> I mean, no, that was a the whole race was close. Did you like sixth place was like one step behind them? It was yeah. crazy. But I think no, I think Noah Noah was was the main one that actually was out front in that two hundred. That just he oh he oh, the other I forgot, I forgot what the Nick guy name was, but he was right next to him on the on the right. He almost got he almost caught up to him because no allows slowed down a little bit, but he ended up still winning. But you gotta keep the foot on the gas if you know allows, man. You especially if you're going into the final, you gotta keep your foot on the gas. You gotta go get another gold medal. Just like Seattle needed to do against Joshua Jacobs a couple of years ago in overtime, and they didn't. Oh. I was at that game. I was at that game with uh is that place, is that place <laughs> loud as people tell me it is? It it can be loud. It, it, is it not? Because people tell me that Lumenfield in Seattle will shake when it gets really loud, which I think is a lie. It's not a lie. So uh, there okay. was there was the beast quake, and that's a real thing. Um, that it Marshawn, is. Marshawn broke that run uh, in the playoffs, and yeah, it really did register on the Richter scale. Um, it's it's loud. Yeah, I mean. It, the only stadiums I would say compare would be, you know, um, probably, you know, uh, like the old, uh, old LA Coliseum. Um, it used to get pretty crazy. It had a hundred thousand people in it. Man, um, the so LA Coliseum. Like kind of noise, you know, <laughs> the LA Col- the LA Coliseum was nothing to play with. <laughs> Definitely was nothing uh, especially with. if you want to go old school when Marcus Allen got, got something going. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, LA yeah Coliseum, was... the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum is nothing to play with. <laughs> that was me and Pops going to go see games in the old old stadium watching Bo and, and all that good stuff. But yeah, um, it was loud, loud there. Um, I mean, some indoor stadiums, like I think it's pretty loud in the Superdome when it's sold, sold oh, out. Sort of thing. Right. Man, the, the Superdome will leave you without ears. Right. But um, and then, in, in, in New Orleans, Orleans, right? I heard Allegiant New Orleans, pretty, New Orleans, Orleans, yes. Allegiant can be pretty damn loud too because of uh, how it's made up. It, it, mm-hmm. it's, it gets crazy in there, actually. Um, I want to see hear. a Re- I want to see a Rebels basketball game in Allegiant. Just to see how many people they could bring in there. Oh, that would be amazing to see. But there, the I think, play, I play think in four years, a basketball game at Allegiant Stadium would be crazy. It's going to happen in four years because the Final Four is coming to Vegas. It is. That's going. To, that's going to be. I'm going crazy. to be there, and I'm not going to yeah. have tickets. I'm going to be strapped with a press pass. Oh, the <laughs> man! Nice. I'm going to be strapped you know, with a press pass. Gonna be for that? Oh, good good luck buying. If y'all team. thought the Super Bowl brought in a hell of a lot of money, the Dude, final four weekend 2028 is yeah. going to be even sicker than that. Yeah. yeah. Um, Allegiance got some good stuff, man, lined up, you know. The, but I will say this there's one place in Vegas I want to take a picture in front of when my wife and I go there, and that's the old Thomas and Mack Center. That's the Shark Tank. Hmm. I want a picture in front still of the shark. There. Yeah, still sitting over there. The old Thomas and Mac. Yeah, you can get that done. But, uh, <laughs> this topic is about to come up. is is about to be real, real shaky here. Bring it on. Because the OG, <laughs> school, I have a lot to say about this because we keep it in USA, but we're going to switch over to basketball real quick. Uh-oh. And we were talking about Team USA and mm. this roster – is this roster that the current roster? We're not talking about the actual games just yet. 
is the actual roster is deeper than the Dream Team's roster. Just, just, just a no sound bite right now, Mr. Brian Snow. Oh, I you going to oh, hear get the one. horse's mouth, OG? Oh, you about to get one? No, 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 not yet. I need not to, yet. I need okay. to hear some factual stuff before you put a sound bite on there. Seriously, I need to hear something from you right now, right now. Oh man, because before, <laughs> before, I, before I let, uh, before I let Brian Snow go, right. Let me just let me just remind y'all of what this <laughs> roster is, right? Yeah, for we both, know what it is. For for, for both teams. <clears throat> for both teams, right? For the dream team and for um the current roster that we have right now. The current roster and, is okay, the, so, team, the dream so, team. Yeah, the dream team. Legendary. We know, so the dream we know the team story. was Charles Barkley, Larry Bird. My, Larry Bird was at the end of his career. Remember this. Clyde mm-hmm. Drexler. In his career, Patrick Ewan, Magic Johnson in his career because of the AIDS thing and stuff of that nature. Michael Jordan in his prime. Christian Leitner, definitely a rookie that came out that, was, that had high hopes. Mm-hmm. Carl Malone, Chris Mullen, yeah. Scotty Pippen, David Robinson, and John Stockton. Mm-hmm. That yeah. was the dream yeah. team. It's now, in 2024. It kicked everybody's ass. In 2024, you have... The Bam Adebayo, Devin Booker, Steph Curry, Anthony Davis, Kevin Durant, Anthony Edwards, Joel Embiid, Tyrese Hollenburton, Drew Holiday, LeBron James, Jason Tatum, and Derek White. This is this is this. When it comes, I'm gonna say this. When it comes to, I only this, recognize right? one name on that team. <laughs> I'm not going to even do this with you, Brian. But I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you now. Like, if you. Steph Curry, we know he's not in his prime anymore. We know LeBron James is not in his prime anymore. We know a few. <clears throat> we, we, the only, I wouldn't say Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis was just injury prone. He just made a Kevin glass. Durant. Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant is not in his prime, not in his prime anymore. So, Joel Embiid. <laughs> Joel Embiid is on the team. There's mistake number one. Oh, come on. Oh. But we, but listen, I used to be a former Sixers fan, which I'm no longer that, so... Yeah, Joel Embiid on you on Team USA. Me and getting ready for the regular season. If there. I really want to be completely honest, with you. I, I just solved right. your puzzle. Joel Embiid on Team USA. Mm. There. But I, 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 before I get into that, though, I do want to thank Steve Kerr because Steve Kerr is doing his starting fives by matchups, and I kind of yeah. like that. He switches his lineups every it's single awesome. time. And he goes off what that team does does best and put the best lineup in just for and that's why they're that winning. Game. People yeah. people got big on oh Jason Tatum didn't play in the first game. Joel and B didn't play in the second game. So what? The fact that they're winning, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. But for this roster, for and the, on top of that, he's saving their energy for the medal round. That part. That part. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna say definitively. Okay. Definitely, uh, the dream team is better. I'm sorry. Um, I love this team, but, no but uh, they don't have the top level talent that the dream team had. Uh, Michael Jordan was in his prime. Um, I don't see anybody on this roster that's uh, comparable in their prime. Um, I wouldn't say comparable, but it's someone that is something, someone that's on the come up that that re- that could remind you of Jordan is Anthony Edwards. That's on the come up. Not yet. <laughs> definitely want to come up, bro. Come on, lie. man. I'm going to Anthony you Edwards lie. now to prime okay. Jordan. No, 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 no. We could, we could be honest with you here. Without Jordan six rings, who is Michael Jordan? No, 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 turn the sound bite off. 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 I'm be honest with you. I love Michael Jordan. I think he's the greatest player to ever do it. I get that. But before the shot. In North Carolina, before the six championships, who was Michael Jordan? He had to start out like everybody else. And that way he was on the come up just like every other player. Yeah, he just got there faster than You know what? I'm going to let let His athleticism and his style of play gives me a younger Michael Jordan. It does. I hear it. It does. I'm gonna let all of that go, and I'm just gonna say. <laughs> no, I'm just talking. I'm just talking championship. I'm sorry. 
And you look at the athleticism and you see the way Anthony Edwards plays, he plays just like Gordon. I'm sorry, he does. He is an amazing athlete. Amazing. Um, we're talking about the teams, though. I don't want to get drawn into his Anthony Edwards and a Michael Jordan debate. We could be here all day. But I will say that Anthony Edwards right now does not shine a light in a dark hallway on what Michael Jordan was when he was on that Olympic team. So, like, the difference between him and anybody that's on this team currently, which I don't know, is Durant the best player? Like, old Durant? No, not even, not even close, not even close, right? And then we, we can keep going. I mean, John Stockton was still in his prime, so it's Carmelone. Carmelone was probably the best four um, possibly in NBA history and um, better than almost everybody on this team um, besides maybe LeBron in his prime I, and Kevin Durant in his prime. I have a question for both of you, though. So, yeah. Compared to the Olympics back in 92 – Compared to the 2024 Olympics, now I'm not saying that the 2024 team is is deeper than the 92 team because it's not, but competitiveness in 2024 is more competitive teams in the Olympics than it was in '92. Don't you it ever is. in life tell that lie again? Hold up, hold up, hold up. We got Victor Wimbyama in France. You got Jamal Murray in SGA in Canada. You got Giannis Antetokounmpo. Oh. You have Serbia with, with Nikola Jokic. You have some teams in this Olympics in 2024 that are and better than those teams like in 1992. That, and just like that, the USA kicked all their asses. Destroyed Next. it. I'm, not, and like, just, I'm just going to I'm, I'm gonna just, yes. can I just say this real it's, quick? It's, I say it's, it's a little bit more, to me, it's a little bit more impressive because these guys that's playing international ball against mm-hmm. Team USA is making it more competitive than it did in 92. Wrong. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna, let, me read, let me just read this real quick. It's, uh, let me, it says, um, Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Charles Barkley, Carl Malone, I get John that. Stockton. Are you? I get that. But the international. Did you, did you hear what I just said? 92. I said Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Larry Bird. in a I row, and that. I wasn't done. I get that. But name, no, any, name any great I don't international think you players do. in 92. <laughs> name any great international players in 92 that played in the NBA. These that are was, three of the greatest the NBA players ever. Like, ever, ever. Like, if you were to name top five, those three are probably in it. I don't have Carmelo in my top five all-time greatest players. I, I didn't say Carmelo. Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird. Well, Magic. Well, Larry Bird was at the end of his career. He wasn't in his prime. Though. Oh, come but on, man! You, still you got on your team. But, but, LeBron I'm is make, forty-nine, I'm and I'm a Lakers fan. He's like sixty-four years old. LeBron is four hundred ninety-nine. Let me settle let that me, argument let me, let me right now. Case, name name a team in nineteen ninety-two against Team USA that had any players that was in the NBA. That was international. I mean, let's see. Uh, you can't. Uh, oh, yes, I can. Uh, you can't. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll give you a couple. I'll give you a couple off here. I'll give you a couple off hand right now of international players that were playing in the NBA when the dream team showed up. You know? Does the name Drazen Petrovic mean anything to you? Thank you. Drazen may be no. the best player in the world. He's not better than any of the players that play internationally right now. He's not better than Joe. Drazen? Yes, he is. Yes. He's not better than Joe right now. Stop. Stop it now. Stop. Stop. No, I'm dead serious. Stop I'm dead it. No. Serious. No. The no. It's nothing compared to the Stop the, the, the cap. No. Stop, Stop, Stop the cap. Stop the cap. It's not. I'm sorry. And, I'm, I, yeah, and the that's reason what, you said. It's not. What's the, what's the question I played earlier? How do you fuck that up? How do you fuck that up? And I got another question. It's just better than Pet. Drowsy. Who? Drazen Petrovic, man. Like, possibly. I'm not a fan. I was never like, a he's fan. In I, the... Back in 92, I didn't know who the hell he was. I didn't know who the hell he was back in 92. I'm 38 years old. I didn't know who the hell he was back in 92. They didn't talk about international basketball like that back in 92. Liar. Drazen lit us up. He lit everybody up. He. Hmm. 
I'm sorry. I'm 38 He's years old. Than, in 92. How old I was? I was born in 86. You do the math. How the hell would I, I know? I hear you. I got a couple years on you, but and I saw it. Yeah, but it matters. How the hell would I, I know? Good. I'm just saying from a competitive perspective, Very Team good. USA could Team USA can Team USA right now is not they they blow <laughs> people, not dominating the people because it's more <laughs> athleticism, it's more <laughs> star players. It's more so let me let me in the NBA right now that's playing international play that's just as good as Team USA. Let's be let's summarize, let's summarize your argument. <laughs> the dream team was so dominant, and therefore you feel this team is better because they're not. I'm not dominant? saying it. all I'm saying is the all I'm saying is when it comes to a competitive Olympic basketball game. Oh, yeah, more fun. Uh, when it comes to competitiveness, you see more <clears throat> internet players in the NBA from the international is 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 giving Team USA more of a competitive game than the than the international teams did in '92. That's if what that's I'm the saying. case. They would have won in nine. If that's the case, it would have been more competitive in '92. Also. It's not competitive now, and it wasn't competitive in 1992. If it's not competitive, then why, why Team USA not blowing teams out by 30 or 40 like they back, like they did back in 92? Let me ask you this question they, on top of that. I they were if earlier. It's not, if, it's, if it's as competitive, how come you Team USA are still blowing teams out of the water? Next. I, the scores are like they play a team? crazy. That's, oh, they they're blowing teams out, but they're not doing it as dominant <clears> as the 1992 team. Oh, yes. Well, I mean, they're they're because not. the 1992 oh, team. Wait a minute. Just had, a moment. Let me read that just, again. It just had a moment. Um, just a moment. Jordan. Before you do, um, before you do, Magic I have a couple Johnson, of other, uh, I have a couple Larry, of other international hold names. Up, hold up, hold up. You never see a team That's in why. Team USA 92 will, will win a game 110 to 84. You'll see a bigger blowout in that if that was in 92. You'll see that in against South Sudan, 103 to 86. You'll see a bigger team. You'll see the US, the, the dream team blow them out way more than that. Against Puerto Rico, 104 to 83. You'll see the team in 1992 blow them out way better than that. Who has Please. the assist record? That's not real blowout. 102 to 83? That's not a real blowout. Stop it. Who's the Stop all time that? assist leader? Who's the win, so all time it's considered a blowout? Stop how about, how about this? How about this? How about, how about this, Darian? It, it you, the say greatest any, greatest. You, you say there weren't any great international players in 1992. I'll give you a couple they that, that they made a lasting impact. Like, they don't even noticeable like they were now, like they are now. Wrong. I got another Arvita Sabonis. Okay. Dominus Sabonis mean anything to you? How about that's that? Two, that's two out of like 15 players. That's Sharunas in the team Marshall, that's, that's, that's Marshallonis. Right now. How about Sharunas Marshallonis, who at the time was a member of the Golden State Warriors and was five years in? How about that mind name? You, mind you. I, I told you the, I told you the other name, Drazen Petrovic. How about a future bull, Tony Kukoc? He was playing, right? But my thing, you cannot my question sit to you there did, with a straight face. They were the face. star players, but who else did they have that, that could help them? They had their countrymen to help them. Next. Yeah, it wasn't that wasn't it wasn't it wasn't enough to compare to 2024 team when you have multiple players on international teams. Multiple and what on one team. were they don't know the they don't know their teams. results. That's all I want to know. How what were the end results? Then and now it was more, it was it was a bigger blowout. It wasn't no competition. Real competition in 92. If you're blowing teams out about 40 and 50 per game, per game, they're not doing that in 2024. They okay. They're not doing that. They, they, they barely beat people out 20. Barely. That, that's be, I, I think it's just because the, the difference in the teams, um, mm -hmm. I, they're really good. Basketball. But not this team is, isn't like, look, ball. if you look at the team that's, itself, that's it's not yeah. like, a perfect not only team, are the with team like not only are the teams different. Are passes and da, da, da. like the dream team was not only really good having better overall players, but they fit together too. Like mm -hmm. fit, you had all time great, you know, point guard in John Stockton, and then also all time great point guard in Magic Johnson. Right, it was like switching positions. Jordan, right, like the whole team fit together. Real centers, fours, fives, guys played roles, right. 
this new switchable everybody oh, plays and then, and, and then there's the, the coach and then there's and the coaching it's aspect time in basketball too because back in the, the 90s it was and then different. there's the coaching aspect it's because different. it's a different time in basketball the dream, too. The dream team the players was, are bigger players are stronger now in 2024 it's a it's a bigger and the business. international teams are still getting you a foot that. put in their asses i'm sorry by team i'm sorry USA. But, um, I, I, I'm sorry, but when 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 you have they other, you have other national teams foot, leading foot games, their it's, it's not impressive to me. The 2024 team is not impressive to me. Yeah, they're winning, they're winning, they're they're winning. But are they, are they kicking other teams' asses like we 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 expect? No, we're not. Yes, we're not. They, they these teams these teams should be scoring no more than 50 points on us. They're scoring 80 okay. and 90 on us. That's and I deep, shouldn't deep, make deep I, sh- I shouldn't I shouldn't make my next joke, but I am doing this to break things up, and I'm doing this purely as a joke only against Darian because I love this brother dearly. It's a, so but, what you are telling me is that what's happening with Team USA now is what the a 76ers and B Miami Heat wish would happen when they compete in the playoffs. We're not right. going to talk about my Miami Heat because my Miami Heat been to the finals many of times. We're not going to worry about that. Um, you're we're not going to worry it. about that. Sir. And the look in your face is telling me a different story. It's not. It's not a worry. <laughs> my Miami Heat is definitely not a worry. Why Heat? not? It's not. Why not? It's not. Why not? We're going, to, we're, we're going to get back. We had an unhealthy Jimmy Butler. <laughs> unhealthy Jimmy like, Butler. You guys are just like Seahawks. Thank you, thank you, Seventy Sixers, for injuring my guy in the in the play in, which I which which I hate the play in. I hate the play in. So yeah, I'll agree with that. I hate the play in. It should be. I hate the play in. I think the play in is be, stupid. It should be. It should be one through eight. Okay. <clears throat> it should be it, the the. NBA seeds should be one through eight. All right. We'll agree, we'll, we'll agree there. Your Miami Heat will never see the finals again. <laughs> you say that. You say that now when you're talking about a Eastern Conference. Okay, great. <laughs> I said it For last now, year. It, it switches back and forth. But you guys are the Heat, though. Know. You know that, right? You all know the Western Conference is the better conference. You know that. <laughs> I think, does he know that the Heat? Listen, no. Okay. No, you're an expansion team, and this is your first rodeo of being good. I get it. <laughs> Our first rodeo of being good. You must, you must have forgot about That's the time really that you really Dwayne, well. Dwayne Wade and LeBron James and all of them. You must have forgot about that, right? First of that all, that was the only time. Is there another time? In the, in the <clears> started, let me in put it. In, let me put it in. 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 How many times we oh, got there? We, you beat the Boston yeah. Celtics in the playoffs. You get a flag? No. Okay, listen. You get a championship. It's this is talking about a Lakers fan that had the asterisk of a championship? Do we want to talk about that? We don't care about at, do you know how many championships we have? We played in a bubble with a bunch dude, of nobody. A dude, bunch of nobody we could just in the, like in the bubble. knock a couple of trophies off of the shelf and like bury your whole case. Bro, we have. Bro, so many championships. Until, until, y'all actually <laughs> win, until y'all actually get, until y'all actually stop getting swept, then we can okay, play let me, Darian, let, let me ask a question. Let me ask a Darian. Let me ask a question. <laughs> what? Let me let me, ask Celtic, a question. Bro, let me ask a question. I want to <laughs> ask. I want to ask like, Darian a question like, while I'm getting ready for my baseball game here. <laughs> this moment, while I'm getting ready for my baseball game here, I want to ask Darian a question. <laughs> Since your Sixers continually let you down, thank you, Joel and B, for proving me right. I've been a Sixers fan for a long ass time now. So, moving Why, on. What drew you? Let me ask you this: What drew you to the Miami Heat? Uh, Heat. Oh, oh. <clears throat> now he's going to the Miami punch, Heat. He's going to punch me for that. Let me let me just tell you this: What drew me to the Miami Heat? Because yeah. what drew what drew you to the Heat? Because they underdog. Okay. And I love no 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 no. I am a Tim Hardaway fan before LeBron James. I am a Alonzo Mourning fan before LeBron James. I am a Shane Battier before LeBron James. Let's stop. Who the hell is Shane Battier? Let's stop. Let's stop it, Mario. We 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 could go we could go further than that. Listen, Mario Chalmers in the Knicks rivalries. Let's talk about it. Okay, let's talk. Okay, let's talk about it. 
Let's let's the talk about it. Days. I'll put an end to this Miami Heat argument because like they, on two separate like, occasions. I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a underdog in itself. My, in my personality, I'm an underdog. Then you should choose a better team because the Heat are underdogs. Like them, they're overrated. They're they're overrated, just like the Indiana Pacers overrated. I'm not a Pacer fan. No I don't care what you is, are. The Pacers. No one has ever. See, this is weird. No one's ever overrated the Pacers. I don't think that's a thing. People forget they exist. No, they, they talked about the Pacers. <laughs> they, no, 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 they talked about the Pacers a lot this year. Snow, no know maybe, about that. And what's they talk about the Pacers? Laker fans, I don't think we've heard about the Pacers, the Pacers since so much, though. Rick Smith. Because Rick Smith was really good. International player. Hey. Conference. That's yeah, why. Smith, Reggie Miller, Chuck Connors. Did person, you say Eastern Conference? I, the Eastern yeah, can't do that I know. Conference. It's a fact. No, we all know yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, know what, Darian? I the didn't Eastern Conference is a weaker conference. That's a fact. Yeah, we just wait for one of you guys to come out and then, <laughs> you know. Well, until the finals, then we can have a talk. At least we've been dude, here. Dude, recently. we have we have at 18 championships. We can't win every year. year. We have to let someone else win. They, not, they like actively try to stop us from winning. They need no trades. Please. They do everything they can to stop us. Okay. We have 18. I'm just sitting here letting these two fight it out, and I'm sitting here laughing at both of them while I'm getting ready for my baseball game. It's always, it's always all the time. You guys have to win two. They're going to go off their championships. They are bit. They are bitter, yes, and they are because we have so many. And we just got another one. What is wrong with you? That's the whole point: is to win championships. Yeah, but you, yeah, but you don't, you don't, you don't, you, you don't win championships. The Lakers have not won a championship since the. Neither season. does Miami. Next question. We we've been <laughs> there. We did we, oh, we've been there. What, yeah. what, I, the the been there. The Miami, you looked at it. You were in your sentence. I'm gonna say this right now. You gave it back to who the Lakers of the Miami Heat right now. We let everyone borrow the trophy for a while. Can you tell us in the last years? We put it back where it belongs. In the last two years, had the Miami Heat been swept, but the Lakers have. In the last two in years, the last two years you see, you, have the Miami Heat won the title. Thing that you think matters. The do you know why they the play the games? Years. Swept. Why do they play the games? Swept. They win. To win. Swept. To pick a winner Swept. who is the champion. They have not sniffed the Swept NBA in, um, in almost wait, three, just, three, just what, three, four years? Just, just oh. a moment, Darian. Um, I believe the great Herman Edwards said it best. You play to win the game. <laughs> Is you want somebody has to lose? Hello, somebody has to lose. You can't, can't yeah, win. that describes the situation in the Miami Heat right, right now. Like you got there times. because of a bubble, a wait, bubble wrap bubble. That that one? You could are, are you the, wait, are you talking about that one or the other uh 17? <laughs> the, who cares? Oh, who cares about you won 17 championships? Who cares about the other 17? Who cares? Who cares about the other 17? I don't know everybody. That's the whole thing. That's the whole point. I gotta jump in. I gotta jump in on this part right now because one of my favorite players all time. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. One of my favorite player. One of my favorite players of all time is is the great Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I love the Showtime Lakers when they were busy putting the foot in Boston Celtics' asses. Respectfully, but the year was 19. The year was 1980. The year was 1985. When the Lakers beat Boston in six games and clinched for the first Don't time in Boston, you are, let's talk relevancy into the Los okay. Angeles Lakers. You can't we currently don't have a championship. You can't talk as recent as ours, in the last and we two have way more than Lakers. yours. When's you the last time you won a championship? When's the last can't. time you won a championship? Tell me the year. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes, it does. <laughs> Championship and bubble wrap bubble in a fluid okay. foil bubble. How many championships please, does your team have? Please, please. I'm, I heard LeBron was there. He was like, We're gonna win five and six and seven. You guys didn't win that many. Wait, wait, wait just a minute. You gotta do it right. You gotta do the vo- you gotta do the voice right. Please you gotta do the voice right. <laughs> and this is probably gonna wreck my voice for tonight because I got Giants and Nationals coming in about an hour. But you got to remember what what LeBron said while holding the microphone incorrectly. Not three, not four, not five, not five, five not six. Not six not not, I got a I got a funny nine. story. Wait, I got a funny story about that. All Just that a minute. I got a fun. I got a I'm funny not story about that. At the past, I'm looking what's going on you right are. now. You are the Los Angeles Lakers. Wait a minute. The Lakers ain't gonna do Just nothing minute. this year. They would not be a playoff team this year. That's a Neither will Miami. Next question. They will. They always are. Um, but Miami is uh, 
not going to be very good either. And they haven't won in a long time. And we won more recently and a lot more we championships. Will. So we will and, until until the Lakers don't get swept in the playoffs. Then we could talk. Were you swept in the playoffs? Swept. Keep Did you guys swept make the playoffs? Year. Did you guys year. even make? The playoffs last yes, year? We did. We did make the oh, playoffs. Oh, you did. You did. Okay. Like we didn't in, the East. Swept. in the we didn't East. In that week East. In that week Old East you talk about. Because you were in the week Old East you talk about. Yeah, we got swept we by like swept. Uh, defending Wait, champions. What year? Let me ask you this, Darian. You guys, what year did you guys you got beat by who? Did you lose to the Pacers or somebody? Who did you lose to? In the East. Was it the Magic? Did you lose to the Orlando Magic or somebody? Who did you lose to? I'll go get a J.J. Reddick as a head coach. Please. <laughs> he said, did you Reddick. lose to the Orlando Magic? Brian, <laughs> <laughs> you get Whatever. a J.J. Reddick. Brian, this is a J.J. Michael Reddick. Ben. Was it Cleveland this year? Who did you lose to? A J.J. Reddick has a liability. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 I got it. I, I have one. Sta- you guys- I have one statement about the Cleveland Cadavers. Okay. The Cle- what? The Cleveland Cadavers, aka the Cleveland Cavaliers. Yes, it happens. <laughs> Listen. It is the, it is the same someone gave me the. Someone gave me the word. Ca- someone gave me the word cadavers on an old sports show, and it stayed with me for ten years. Okay. The most relevant, and I know this to be a falsehood. I am doing this for. Joking purposes only, but the legacy of the Cleveland Cavaliers is Craig Elo. Oh. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh Lord! I'm <laughs> kicked in the head. The the the, the, le- head the, the, the 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 legacy of the Cleveland Cadavers is Craig Elo. Why? Look up the date of May seventh, nineteen eighty nine. <laughs> moving on yeah. i'm done with him yes yeah, the, the, and the reason you done, and, and the reason you're done is because we spent what 45 minutes on this thing laughing at this shit i'm listen i'm gonna I'm, well, listen, I'm listen it i'm saying what i said this is this yeah is, and, we fans tore it gonna be lakers and we tore it the until they, shred until they doing with the, it the lakers fans gonna be lakers fans until they get the 18 title until they they they, they number two you already have 18 you mean 19 man come on y'all, y'all have 18 where in our trophy case in boston, boston 19. <laughs> i thought they had 17 and, here we go no no we were tied at 18 they, they pulled ahead with this little tatum <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna talk about it. Okay, a little bit jealous of me, that's like a little bit I, jealous. No, they're gross and green. That's not the, they, as much as they hate any other team, they can't. I stay in Boston. They can't. Yes, wait a minute. I got a question. They're, they're like, do y'all, get, gross. do y'all get like this that's during Raider Pod? Do y'all get like this during Raider Podcast? Because no, 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 probably not. Probably not. <laughs> Because I'm gonna be honest know. with you, me and me and me and him probably gonna be on the same page when it comes to the with when it comes when to the Raiders. Raiders. Okay, Raiders. fair enough. <laughs> yeah, but He's everything else. The it's it's a difference between fair Raider enough. fans and realistic Raider fans. It's a difference. Right, right. <laughs> Just like there's 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 realistic and logical Cowboy fans, and then there's something. Wait, I'm Darren, sorry. You heard you said Darren, things that don't make heard. sense together. Wait, you said <laughs> logical <laughs> and Cowboy fans. So I didn't understand. Let me let there. me complete let me complete my statement. There are oh, logical okay. and sensible cowboy fans, a few of which mm-hmm. I happen to know, and then there's oh. the group that Darian and I talk about a lot on my morning show that Victor mm-hmm. dubbed so brilliantly the Moronic Republic of Cowboy Nation. Ah. Yeah, it's not even a cowboy nation, it's only one nation, and that's Raider Nation. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's only one on nation. Yeah, cowboys don't have a nation, they don't start of that neither do the Raiders. So 1963, yes, we do. We're everywhere. So anyway, <laughs> don't 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 challenge. Don't, come on. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just fan base is just. And you know what? You know what bad. You you know what's bad, All y'all. Gotta do is go into a town and randomly <clears throat> yell Raiders, and someone yells it back. It's great. It's a beautiful thing. Mm-hmm. Not to. I should surprise Darian one day this week with the raid with the actual Raider fight song, which I do have. I just haven't loaded it up yet. 
Why do you? There's no. No. He just trolling. Don't listen to him. He's trolling. It's called that, but there's there's an actual song though. Seriously, it is an actual song. It is it's an actual which I which I it happen is. to have. It's called the Silver and it Black. Is. It's called it, actually the t the correct title, if I remember correctly, is We Are the Silver and Black. Mm -hmm. And it was used, this. and it, and it it's been used on uh, NFL films. Huh. When, whenever they voiced um, Raider highlights, John Facenda, and then later on mm -hmm. Harry Callis would voice Raider highlights, and they actually have they actually have that song. That but the, at least the, the fans the, of teams yeah. outside of using the auto win, that's 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 the, that's the song right there. That's the song. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one. That's the song I'm talking about. One of those, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a song, that's the song that I have that I'm gonna load up here. Um, uh, if I get a chance, I'll I'll do it. I'll do it tomorrow. But yeah, at least we're fans players. of teams that don't think every year is their year until they get socked in the in mouth. Dallas. Yes. <laughs> We 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 go we go talk about that. We go talk about a few Here. things in NFL, but uh, the San but, Diego but, Chargers somehow in the media decides oh, it's there. Oh, every the San year. Diego Chargers. You know what? I love you for saying that because it's not the Los Angeles Chargers to me. It's the San Diego, <laughs> just like it's the Seattle SuperSonics and not the Oklahoma City Thunder. Can I get a witness? Okay. Um, <laughs> there's only one LA team that does football, and it's not a Ram or. A battery or whatever so wait are we talking professionally or are we talking college oh, right pro. Now, huh yeah. pro pro yeah oh yeah pro professional i mean if you want to call it professional, <clears throat> yeah, the chargers i mean you know pros. well no i was gonna say usc you know what i'm saying so who the hell mm -hmm. are they well see I'm gonna mind my business because I'm I'm not I'm gonna listen, I'm a Tennessee fan. I'm gonna mind my business. I'm gonna sit back on this one. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Who the hell are they? As a Tennessee Who volunteer, are you talking about? As a Tennessee volunteer, I can't. Who is talk. your team? Who is your team? Me? I must know. Yes, yes, good. Sir. I'm from I'm from Chicago, so my team's the Northwestern Wildcats. My okay, original, so I will say this. My Northwestern? original my, You're coming at me with Northwestern? Well, I got a few really? ties to Northwestern, considering I know the play-by-play -play announcer, who's a dear friend. Oh, I met Darnell Lawtree, really? I met Damian Anderson, and I've had a chance to see the campus. My original, original college football team, when I like really got started, okay, Georgia. Why? Uh, Herschel Walker. Huh. Why Herschel Walker? Yeah. Okay. Actually, two. Okay. Actually, two reasons. Two reasons I really got into Georgia football. Herschel Walker. And mm -hmm. their longtime voice, God rest his soul, Larry Munson. Because uh, when I used to when I used to did, listen to as a Tennessee fan, I can't stay in Georgia. So <laughs> okay, Georgia. <laughs> tell me, tell me, like uh, the SEC at this point. <laughs> do, you, do you still follow them? Uh, follow Georgia intensely? I do. You do. Tell I me do. about Zeus. Raider, Raider, running back Zeus. What do you, beware. What do you think My only word is beware. Of injury, nope. What? Running over, like Larry Munson said, running over people. Uh, yes, he's a tank. Beware his, his health does a bit different. Uh, but, him, but, but you do bring up a valid point. You do bring you do bring up a valid point of his health because he mm -hmm. is such a powerful runner. Things right. have changed from the days of Herschel Walker to Garrison Hurst to now Zeus, and I want I just want him to stay healthy. <clears throat> yeah. My my first two teams, um, when I first got into college football, were Georgia, and strangely enough, because of an old friend of mine, Michigan. Mm -hmm. like late, okay, like that's in the funny. late eighties, the lady okay, when Michigan funny. Stadium yeah. had AstroTurf. So I just I just fell in love with the stadium, huh? So I, I was a USC guy, but. Uh, one of my favorite cousins. Shout okay. out to the Sherman out there. He's a Michigan fan, right? Um, and his well, like I love said, I got to, I got for it. the team I was so it. strong that he convinced me to like him. <laughs> like it's just serious. Like you know what I mean? Like you've been like, yeah, around yeah, yeah, yeah. Really like a yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I didn't yeah, yeah. get and, into Northwestern until '95. I mm -hmm. followed him off and on, 
but yeah. I had so much personal turbulence going on at the time. I really couldn't like die back into college football. And for right. a spell, I lived in North Carolina. So oh, okay. I didn't get a chance to tie into eight yeah. to the ACC like I did the second time when Jody and I were down in North Carolina. But the day I the day I discovered and followed Northwestern, it was 1995, and they were playing Notre Dame. And the place where I was working at the time had a piss load of Notre Dame fans. Mm. So I walked right in the middle of it, <laughs> big mouth. And I said, I hope the Northwestern Wildcats beat the fighting Irish. Nice. I didn't realize how much of a firestorm that would start <laughs> because like I was living in Chicago, but uh, with South Bend being, I want to say like an hour or less hour from Chicago. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of cause I kind of caused some trouble, and I yeah, said, "I hope, I hope Northwestern beats Notre Dame." Yeah, I had people yelling at me, screaming at me, cussing at me, swearing at me, all kinds of stuff, saying that's not going to happen. And Northwestern that day, September second, nineteen ninety five, was a thirty eight point underdog. And then Northwest, uh, excuse me, Notre Dame turned the ball over. And Northwestern stuck it in the end zone. Thank you, Darnell Autry. Mm. My boss was Too a Notre Dame. My, my, my boss was a Notre Dame fan. Yeah. He found me. <laughs> he yanked me into his office. Oh, in the 90s, no. everybody was a Notre Dame fan back in the 90s. Yeah, yeah, Listen, good. He found me. He yanked me in the office because it was 17-15 at the time, and Northwestern had the ball, and they had a third and four. So they gave it to Darnell Autry. And he ran it all the way down to the four yard line. And let me see if I got the right sound up because my boss literally said this. What is that? What the fuck is that? <laughs> you know what I did? I said, I'm going home now and took off. <laughs> yeah. The. Yeah. I've been annoyed with me. Been a North my North my friend's a little different about being a Tennessee fan because yeah, how did it start for you, man? I mean, it, it start it started with me with you know, I'm a big advocate of college basketball. Okay, okay. I'm a big advocate like for my college basketball, and mm -hmm. I played basketball in high school, and that was one of the schools that I wanted to go to because I always wanted to meet Pat Summit, a legend. I, I always wanted to meet Pat Summit because. Even though, even though the the Bruce Pearl days at Tennessee as well, I always wanted to meet him. Yeah, I want. I always wanted to like meet those those legendary coaches at Tennessee. Yeah. Um, but it, it really started out from basketball, and then when I actually went to go visit the campus, mm -hmm. and the experience that I had, hmm. I, I will mm -hmm. never forget the the football game I went to. And I, I, I did it more than one time. I, the football game I went to, the basketball games that I went to, it, it just stuck with me ever since. That's and, fair. and That's you fair. know, even even the fact that that was back in like the early two thousands, but I still did my history went back when Peyton Manning was there, mm -hmm. even before that. But mm -hmm. those those women's Tennessee ball games, I think the men's is they good right now. They those were women's nuts. games were just as those women's games was just as big as any other sport on mm -hmm. Yes, for those hey, those it, those it, it, women it, it, games when coached by Pat Summit at Thompson Bowling Arena. Yes, were nuts. I got nuts. into women's bas. I got into women's basketball the same year eighty two that I got into Georgia football. Because I fell in love with the women's final four and I've been an advocate mm -hmm. of women's basketball since then. <clears throat> yeah, but Northwestern like, yeah, well, even even back where like when when Peyton was playing the then, you know, right. now you see one of you see what you know Alva Kamara did when he was at Tennessee. Yes. You know, a lot of people don't a lot of people forget that Alva Kamara went to Tennessee because you know Tennessee football is is good, but it's like it it's wasn't at that – it wasn't at the championship level. It wasn't at the championship level. We haven't been in, in a national championship in a long-ass time. We've been to bowl mm -hmm. games, but mm -hmm. as but far as the, national but, championship, but though, we just – I mean, we had quarter, you, know, you know, Joe Joe Milton was definitely not a great quarterback for mm -hmm. us last season. And, yeah, so, yeah, Tennessee <laughs> is just going to rebuild at this point. I'm um, not looking forward to the SEC this I year. Have, can you guys please, God – 
please, God, just as someone has to scout quarterbacks, do something with that offense. Please, it, uh, it, please, uh, please, please don't make me watch that anymore. The best quarterback to do it for us at that point. What is happening? Why is half the field not playing football? They're just like running because around. There's no or because there's no court. What is that? I'll answer that question. Wait a minute. I hate it. Let me. It's let me a, a Tennessee fan. I hate waste, it. They're just not. Let even, me repeat the question. They're not even playing on that side. I'm not going to lie to question. you. When it comes to the receivers, the receivers they actually play well in that offense. Unfortunately, let me repeat the question. Well, well, I mean, my, <laughs> let me repeat the question in full that my man just asked. I think he just asked about the Tennessee offense. What is that? Mm. Yeah. What the fuck is that? What Until is we actually get a quarterback that can actually throw the football that was just changer. as good as Henning Hooker, that's a, that's that offense would not changer. do shit. That's, Joe that's Milton a, has a freaking changer. cannon, bro. But like uh when the receiver his his the, accuracy his accuracy is off. He has a hell of an arm. Don't get me wrong. I love Joe Milton. I think he's mm -hmm. very athletic, but his accuracy yeah. stinks. It's not just his he, accuracy. I, I, that's I, the problem. His accuracy listen, it's not I just his accuracy these that's the problem with Milton. It's his footwork. It's his decision making in the pocket. Okay. Yeah, that's, so that's this the is, other thing too. Okay, it's the footwork. The footwork. He also doesn't ha didn't have a lot of reps. No, nope. to, to be able to get past some of that stuff you see as far as getting better, um, making decisions. Yeah. Footwork is a good sign with a quarterback that you're yeah. um, working with. If at least it's not an arm issue, right? His arm, mm -hmm. yeah, motion, arm all that stuff is very clean. You can clean up footwork literally in one off season. So yes. the question is, yes, where's the upside, right? The mm -hmm. offense he played in was crappy. I couldn't really rate Very him so. as well as I wanted to because he's not being forced to go through read progressions. The offense doesn't – it's nothing like what a pro offense is going to, like you know, present to him. Really so that's the big thing, right? Offenses that actually – I can say this. Now, Tennessee is one of those well, – Tennessee is one of those schools – that doesn't run a pro style office. They're not just the only no. one that doesn't run it. So I yeah. can say about seven. They are the worst in college football. Don't run a pro style. Not that bad. Not and that. I'm Listen, be, I'm, and I'm gonna be. It may honest. not be pro it's style, but it's. Up. But receivers are actually Lincoln. running routes. You know, Lincoln, like Lincoln, uh, when it comes to when it comes to college football, you see it a lot where they at, uh, they do it at the snap. Mm -hmm. They clap. They look man. over, I, they do one thing, snap. They don't in college football, there's not a lot of colleges that does pre-snap pre-snap right. situations. You don't you don't see it. Mm -hmm. I get that. The pre-snap stuff, yes. What I'm talking about is post-snap when one whole half of the field is not actually engaged in running a route or or doing anything. Yeah. It is already predetermined that the ball is going over to this side, mm -hmm. and it's literally just one read. Right? Yeah, they gave they it's, gave it away. It's like, they give it's it away a, every time. <clears throat> yeah. If you go watch the tape, the other receivers are not even running actual routes. They're just decoy routes. Um, yep. And then there's a decoy receiver and an actual live receiver he's supposed to throw it to. And I just So this is a – Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I just don't – I don't see I how you can develop a quarterback. In itself, a lot of quarterbacks are not pro-ready because, the number one, understand that 90% – um, 90% of them, they don't go under center so they have to mm -hmm. learn how to be under center, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which and is way good. It, it, it's way just, it's, it's just uh, like, uh, it's a lot of stuff that you see signs on the sidelines to make these audibles. You're not going to get that in the NFL. You might see some teams do it. Like mm -hmm. even, even I, I don't like, oh, I can't stand Ohio State to save my life. I always felt like when it comes to Ohio State quarterbacks, they just never succeed. But with C.J. Stroud is a different Justin story. C.J. Stroud yeah. has made a liar out of me, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, I saw that one coming. He's, yeah. He's the only one that probably uh, that can succeed as an Ohio State quarterback. As a right, player. right. Unfortunately. I, mean, I don't I, I don't rate the school or rate the player in – yeah, so. <laughs> but I feel like with it, like I said, I think they need to start putting pro ready type of offenses in implemented into college football. But I understand the excitement of college football. I get it. They want that excitement. They want that drama. That's why yeah. they have these type of offenses. But yeah, it doesn't set them up for the NFL. Unfortunately, it just doesn't offensively. No, I mean it really doesn't. You know, it's a it's a college style offense, and there's no translation into the NFL. And that's been the case for 
a long time now. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Ohio State. I mean, you know, people couldn't see Justin Fields coming, but it was clear. Can I laugh at Justin Fields? We go. Yes, we gonna talk. About, actually, let's let since we on it, we might well just we might well just talk about it. Let's do it. Since we're on it, since we're on Justin it. Fields. Now, yeah. I, it's been it's a talk so about this whole QB debacle in, in Pittsburgh with Russell. Yeah, Russell it was, just, you, you <laughs> said there was two QBs over there. I don't. Yeah, I don't it's know. two. Who the hell told there. that lie? No, there's not. There's only one QB over there. What are you talking about? <laughs> Matter of fact, so there's for, no QBs I'm, in Pittsburgh. I'm going off of what for what I've I've read, and it and, oh. it, they're, they're, and according to Teddy Bruschi, uh-huh. according to Teddy Bruschi, he feels as though that. It should be a QQB system in Pittsburgh. And this is why. <laughs> well, they need two QBs. They have a QB and a running back, but they don't have any. I completely disagree with this. Now, oh, I understand no. that Russell Wilson is out with a calf injury. We all know training camp injuries happen. We know this. Dear Russell now, Wilson. Right now, they want to make the hype of thing because Justin Fields is there. He's the younger quarterback in all Dear of this. Dear Russell Wilson. using that word you and fired. it doesn't fit. Them. I He's just, not a quarterback. Dear Russell Wilson. You I, think Fields, I think Justin Fields can be a quarterback. Do I no, think he in, a, in the CFL or some maybe like I in a Justin Fields I needs to me. go. Think about it. He played in the same exact office at Ohio State with CJ Stroud. Yeah, here's the problem. Let's just, just be have, real with that. They had weapons around him, a coach that could coach him, and he actually was allowed to use all of his gifts. It didn't translate mm. to the NFL because it got ruined by Matt Eberfools and the Chicago Bears. And you know what? I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. <clears throat> I scouted this player because the Raiders were quite possibly interested in signing him. Dear God, Luke Getzi is our offensive coordinator, which is the same offensive coordinator Justin Fields. Which had. is the saddest yes. offensive. And let me let me explain something to you. The I broke this tape down. Offensive. This is not Getzi's fault. <laughs> I have never in oh, my life shit. seen worse quarterback tape ever. <laughs> ever oh, is i'm not like not a stretch like the worst quarterback tape i have ever seen is this dude justin fields is the worst quarterback tape i've ever broken down yep he missed wide open reads My over cards. and over again like where he didn't even throw the football to yep. wide open players he would have two open players and take a sack. Like mm-hmm. seen he that was times over. Huge trick. No timing. No feel. None. Completely inaccurate. Slow delivery. Missed reads. So many reads. I can't even like I it's insane. Did, if did I was guessing lose, I, I, I'd did, have PTSD. Like I would be lose throwing count? clipboards. I, I can't even you know what's bad though? My wife and I watched uh a Bears game when we first moved back up here to Indiana three years ago, and Justin Fields got and Justin Fields got the start. My wife looked at me and I looked at her because I'm a bigger football nerd than she. She looked Chicago. at me last year. Yeah, she looked. She looked at me and said, "Honey, who the hell is that under center for the Bears?" I said, "Oh, that's Justin Fields." <laughs> her next response was. Who? Mm -mm. I lost it. Mm -mm. I'm sitting in the car, and we were we were going out to eat. I'm sitting in the car, dying. When she goes, she said, "Who? I'm cracking up." And she's she said, "Did you see this dude play?" Unfortunately, yes. I'm gonna just let y'all know something real quick. You yeah. can actually watch NFL games them if you have NFL Plus. You know that, right? Oh, yeah. All, so, the, all day, all day cool. long. That's how I do it. Yeah, that's how I do it. That's how I break that's, it down. You watch that all 22 film, that's how you can yep. break it down. Yep. Just, just, to let, just to let the people know that's listening, go to NFL Plus when the season five starts. Five bucks a month? It's like five yeah, it's like month. Yeah, it's like, what, 10 bucks? 10 bucks, something ten like bucks, that a month? A little 10 bit, yeah. bucks a month. Okay, maybe it's 10 a month now, yeah. It, it's it's yeah. worth yep. it. So, yeah, for sure. If you want to break down film, that's what I'm going to be doing this year for the Raiders. So, yeah, mm-hmm, I'm going yeah. to break down film as well. So I'm going to yes. be doing the same for several yeah. teams. Yeah, um, so 
That's the, that's stay the away from that Justin want. Fields film if you want to live. Live. Yeah, you might die. If you want to live, think... if you want to live, breathe, continue to eat, mm -hmm. continue to yeah. strive, stay away from Justin Fields film, please. But I'm, if I'm, you've eaten recently in the last thirty minutes, if don't you've watch eaten, the show. if you've eaten anything, and mm -hmm. I love chocolate. Okay, <laughs> I am a chocoholic to my heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was here in my office one day and I got a request from someone which should have told me everything I needed to know that had an argument with me about Justin Fields. Oh, and he says, you can't say Justin Fields is a bad quarterback. You mm -hmm. a damn lie. Why? <laughs> and he said, and then he, he, he made, he, he, he gave me a challenge, which I unfortunately took after consuming mm -hmm. Three slices of my wife's chocolate cake. You didn't. You didn't watch the Justin I Fields. Did. That's a waste of cake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was. <laughs> in this, all I will say was. All I will say is, hey, coach. All I will say is, I was indisposed for the next 45 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And I came out of the bathroom. Jody looked at me. Go and said, in there for 45 minutes. Listen. I came out and Jody looked at me and said, what the hell happened? <laughs> Just Baby, Fields. you don't want an answer to that. She said, did you watch Justin Fields again? Oh, man. Listen, I'll be real with y'all. My Going bride the, knows me, okay? <laughs> Going back to the original question. Mm. This should mm -hmm. not be a two QB system. No. I think Justin Fields needs to sit behind. First of all, you need a quarterback. A quarterback like Russell Wilson. He needs to sit. He just needs to be a QB, all, too. First of a all, you need a quarterback, damn it. A, wait, wait. A, a two. You ain't got one. Like he should doesn't, sit behind his coffee table on his it couch. It doesn't he, make sense for the Pittsburgh should, Steelers to have a two QB system. You should have Justin Fields. It's a style of play. It doesn't you know, make you know sense. What you, do? You, know, you know what you do? Here, here's what you do. You tell Russell Wilson and Justin Fields, you fire. Turn on your playbooks. Yeah. Well, you I let mean, them. But you would tell them both. Hit, you would tell them both. You tell them both. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. I would. I would. I, I, I would talk about this that. situation in, in my first episode of Hot Mess. I mean, they have Mister Unlimited, and aptly titled Hot not, Mess. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right. I need to get. Uh, I need to get you on my program to talk about that hot mess. Both of you. Um, but I'm saying, you have I'm to bring saying, me and be, the national media god. To be system. It should like, like I was saying, it shouldn't be a QB system, right? No. Now, Why not? people might not people might say what, what they can say about Russell Wilson. He sucks. And, there, I said you, it for you. you, say, you right now, because if you look at the Denver Broncos, that team as a whole sucks. Yes. No matter who the Did quarterback. You know? For the Denver Broncos, it could be it could be goddamn Brett Favre right now, and that team yeah. they don't have no offensive line. They do the things. Yeah. Yeah, they they're, run they're back coach. things. Sean Payton stinks as a and, coach. And then you got Sean Payton. As you coach. know what he stinks like, right? Like bong rips that he that that's he takes. What that's what I'm saying. Like I feel like Russell Wilson will he be the best the best option for the Steelers as of right now? Yeah, he is. Can the I best can I answer there. that question? Can I answer that question, please? Because if you go, if you go look at the the QB market, what quarterback is a free agent right now that's better than Russell Wilson? You can't name. Oh, no. Yeah, it was so. That, so, like, so the Steelers gonna have to do something with that, and they're gonna have to do something with Russell Wilson. Which leads to my. Next he's not gonna fit in that locker room. With Najee Harris, basically. Which, which leads to my next question: Who's the coach of the Steelers? Mike Tomlin. Mike Tomlin. In four words, I yeah. rest my case. Yeah, my, there's no way Russell Wilson's gonna last. Well, I'm not. A, I'm a bit, I, I kind of like Arthur Smith as an offensive coordinator. They offensive the coordinator Canada yeah, last damn. year was terrible. Canada was uh, ass last year for them. Uh, he's I'm Mr. Not, unlimited. Unlimited. <laughs> Let's ride, huh? Bronco Country. Let's ride. Sad. He's not going to make it in that Please locker room. Shut that up. I, I got to do it again. He's not. He's too weird. How do you fuck that up? He hey, Pitt, hey, Pittsburgh. Everybody. Hey, Pittsburgh. How do you fuck that up? How do you fuck that up? And reading the show notes that Darian texted me, 
Hey, let me, just, let me just say this. They have not found the themselves Sherman. a quarterback since Roethlisberger retired. And End they story. won't either. In the story. In the story. And they won't and they won't either because they're too chicken shit to develop one. Kenny Pickens, hello. Oh, Kenny Pickett is uh, Kenny Pickens. Not, Pickens. He's not good at, I'm at sorry. football. So. Pick it. Pick it. Pick it. Pick it. Pick it. Dunk on it. I just feel like that is Kenny Pick is a whole nother story. That's a whole nother story in itself. That was a Kenny Pick. Kenny Pick is a nice and you and my thing is to Brian Snow. Do you think that Nick Suriani is going to develop Kenny Pickett in Philadelphia? Absolutely not. Um, Don't you want to don't you want to answer it this way? Gary Kubiak. Kenny Pickett is in Kenny Pickett's in an effed up situation when he was in Pittsburgh. He's in an effed up situation with Philadelphia. It makes no difference. Yeah, he just didn't. He just didn't leave the state of Pennsylvania. <laughs> Unfortunately, and as my as my buddy says, Nick Siliani is going to coach himself out of a job this year. And speaking of quarterbacks, because all of our court, all of our NFL topics is quarterbacks, and I want to get into this one so goddamn bad because I don't know why people. Think I'll answer that it. For Aaron Rodgers is still an elite quarterback at forty years old. I still don't understand it. Can now, I? Let me, let me just have Brian the last time he played. No, let me just have the floor. Let me just have the floor. Okay. All right. Here he goes. And I will finish preparing for my game. Let's let's have let's let Derry have the floor. This is what and then I will go and then I will go next. And then I gotta depart because I gotta get ready for Nats and uh Mm -hmm. Nats and Giants. But Darian, the floor is yours. (laughs) This is what pisses me off about the mainstream media having this stupid ass topic. This man was on the top 100 list at 92 by playing yeah. one game in four snaps. He didn't even Are we really it. calling him an elite quarterback right now at 40 years old in a real bad torn Achilles? No. What are we talking about, elite quarterback? Do we even know what the yeah. word elite means these days? Because everybody want to use the word elite quarterback or elite player in a different sport. No. Aaron Rodgers, and I'm going to say it right to everybody's face because this is going to be a real. Aaron Rodgers is not elite anymore. He would never be elite. I don't care if you have Garrett Wilson. I don't care if you have Brees Hall. I don't care if you have the number one defense in the league. Aaron Rodgers is not an elite quarterback anymore. Period. Anymore. He's 40 years old. He has more gray than my cat, and my cat is older than him. He has more gray than the Raiders logo. Please. Please. Oh, oh. Elite where? Uh, he was voted on by the players in the uh, top 100 list at 92 for playing four snaps in one game. Make it make sense. I can't. Yeah. What makes him elite? Uh, Nothing. He's not elite anymore. He's two, three years out of being a back-to-back MVP. Got traded to the Jets to do what? Did he go the same route as Brett Favre? Brett Favre got traded to the Jets too, didn't he? Mm-hmm. What? How did that work? Uh, not too yeah. bad. Uh, he was. Not, I rest he my was goddamn not, case. Oh, can I go he next, please? The media, they kill me. Yeah, you're up. All right, go can ahead. I go next, please? Yeah. Aaron fucking Rodgers. Somehow, some way. They put him on the top 100 list. Get the fuck out of here! With that <laughs> bullshit. I mean, I took a look at that list and went, God damn! That he's on the thing. Aaron Rodgers has not been elite since he won a Super Bowl, which was 12 years ago. And the only reason he was elite is because Pittsburgh choked. Period. The only reason Aaron Rodgers was voted to lead that year is because he marched into Chicago and on the first drive of the game, marched right down the field and punched the Bears in the mouth and kicked them in the nuts. And the Bears have not recovered and never will recover. That's a rant for tomorrow on the morning show. Aaron, let me ask you this. And and y'all can be honest with me. Let me ask this question of Aaron Rodgers. How many Super Bowls has he had since Super Bowl 45? Oh. He's been the one since then. How many many NFC championships has he gained since Super Bowl 45? 
many, but he lost. Mm-hmm. Okay. How many times has he been picked to win the NFC and wound up choking like a whore on a dick? Every year. All right. How many times, and I'm looking for an exact number, was he picked to beat the San Francisco 49ers in a playoff game? Uh, what was it, like three or four times, if I'm not mistaken? Four. four. One of those four times came in the NFC Championship game in Santa Clara. Anybody rem- want to remind me how that went? He choked. He didn't finish that one. It went great. Three he threw, years he, later. He, he threw a pick, if I'm not mistaken. He sure did. Just like Jordan Love did last him. year. Good he Emmanuel Rick. Mosley picked him off. Let me ask you this. Let me, let me ask you this. No, let me, before I ask my next question. Three years later. Aaron Rodgers and the Packers had the number one seed. And who did they welcome? A wild card winner. Who was that wild card winner? San Francisco. What did Aaron Rodgers do on that first drive? Marched him right down the field and punched him in the mouth. 7 nothing Packers. What the offense do the rest of the game? Nothing. Not a goddamn thing. And um, how many times did Aaron Rodgers get sacked in that game? I'll answer that one. Five of them. Which And the fifth and final sack led to a punt that got blocked and recovered for a touchdown. And Robbie Gold, which is the bane of all my Packer friends' existence, walked him off. Now, you tell me, gentlemen, with the case that I have outlined in very great detail, how is Aaron Rodgers still an elite quarterback? Exactamundo. Mm. Your Honor, the defense rests. Yeah. Mm. Oh, by the way, Aaron, for your game, for your four times you were picked to beat San Francisco. How do you fuck that up? How do you fuck that up? No. <laughs> oh, and, mm. and wait a minute. I should have I should have done this just to piss off Darian and make him laugh at the same time. Let me ask, let me pose this question. Matter of fact, where is this? Where 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 is this button I'm looking for? But oh, because I'm gonna make Darren go You blind blank you trying to do? Of all that low dirty Yeah, I, I'm gonna make him I'm going to make him swear. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I already sweared enough. <laughs> That's fair. That's I fair. already sweared enough. That's fair. I said what I said. That's fair. What's up, Anthony? What's going on? What's up, Anthony? I said what Aaron I said. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is not elite. And he's, never not top, he's not even a top 10 quarterback in this league. Okay. By the way, by the way, bonus question. Who do the Jets open up against on Monday night, September 9th? The San Francisco 49ers. And what's going to happen in that game? Uh, That's the L L for the Jets. hmm. Okay, let's play over under. Let's play over under. The number is 40. The subject, number of points the Niners score against the Jets. Oh, I'm going over. Really? I'm going way over. I'm going way over. No, no, Jets got a good defense. I want, yeah, Jets got a defense. Get all torn. As good, all the Jets they have a, listen, the Jets have a good defense. Yes, they're going to get torn to shreds on Monday night. But this they're is the first day. Right, they're right, going to get obliterated. Right. You got to understand. You got to understand. He's a 49 fan. Like he's a 49 fan. Just let, let him rock out. Listen. Oh, I, that's oh. right. I forgot. Oh, he's rough. Okay, that's right. He is. That's yeah, okay. I, I am, but I'm also looking at this through a realistic prism. Yes, the Jets have a good defense. They're going to get obliterated. Listen, I got nothing against I got nothing against the Jets except the fact that they're trusting Aaron Rodgers, a 40-year-old quarterback on a on a speed tendon which is going to get broken again by Leonard Floyd to lead them to places they have not been since 1969. Jesus Christ. Okay. I'm going to let I'm going to let Hotspot talk about this. 
Uh, there. It doesn't. It doesn't. A, for me, it doesn't even matter if Brandon Ayuk is there. The Jets, the Jets offensively is just not good. I mean, Garrett Wilson is good, yes. Brees Hall, yeah, but after that, it's nothing else. They they got O line problems. I think that's the yeah. They have offensive line problems. The Niners, you know, yeah. I love I love the hell out of I love the hell out of Brees Hall. I do. He's What's fast. the line he's playing behind? <laughs> yeah, that's a. What's the line? That's going to be your issue. That's going to be your issue, and that's going to be Aaron's issue. Um, speaking Again. of Aaron's issues, I will say Again. this: I, my my piece on Aaron, uh, twenty twenty two playoffs, uh, crap the bet against the Rams. Twenty twenty three playoffs, shit the bet against oh, the Eagles. Twenty twenty four playoffs, we saw the Niners. So like it's just continuously this mm-hmm. like. I'm sorry, 21, 21, uh, 22, and 23. But yeah, the, you know the the continuous just like falling apart when it matters. Um, when it the, matters. that was already an issue, uh, Wait, and now it's you, uh, kind of the biggest issue. List, Coach, can you do that list again, please? Yeah. I got the so the Rams, the Eagles, and the Niners. Oh, all took pieces you. of them. So yeah, Rams <laughs> against the. What's the what's the second one? Eagles. Eagles. Nothing for you. Yeah. And of course, mm-hmm. against the Niners. Yeah. Nothing for you. <laughs> Which leads oh, to Oh my god. That's all folks. That's it, man. Game over, man. Not, a, not Game even over. Stop talking about it. That's the that's, cause it's, it's just gonna be it's just gonna piss me off even more. Um <laughs> Yeah, and then this, this, yeah. I know I I hate that I have to have this topic. I don't really don't want to. I really don't want to talk about Jalen Hurts right now. I really want to talk about Des Prescott because we you know we all had this conversation here. Can we move on, please? I mean, we, we are moving already... on. That's that. We're going to Dak Prescott. If no, we, I mean we're, we're, we're going to that the, too. This is why we're going to Dak Prescott because even though he's not getting an extension right now because the Dallas Cowboys want to be cheap, and one. he doesn't deserve one. Not even that too. He doesn't. It, deserve, it, he doesn't deserve it. If, he, if that Prescott moves on from the Dallas Cowboys, he goes to the CFL and they cut his ass. I'm, Next, I, I I completely disagree with that. No, no. <laughs> well, I completely disagree. Of course with that. you. Of course yeah. you would. He probably he probably go save me. Pittsburgh. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> they just <laughs> add another fucking hey, mediocre quarterback. Hey, hey throw Dak hey, in there too. Fucking Kirk Cousins <laughs> next year. He said Dak's gonna go to Pittsburgh. <laughs> you know Pittsburgh is just as cheap as the Dallas Cowboys when it comes to quarterbacks. Yes, they're just as cheap. <laughs> they're, they're worse. Yeah, they're worse, they, man. You know they're Lord desperate, Jesus. man. We okay, know, well, that well, that's I got obvious. It. Tua's got like three games left on his head before yep. he concussions if out, that. and then bam, if that. Dak, Dak, Dak in there. Yeah, but I don't Dak, see. Dak, yeah, Dak, I don't think. Dak, 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 yeah, they're Dak. not going. They're not going to pay. Miami's not. Even though they paid Tua, they're not going to pay Dak that almost more than what they just paid Tua. That's just unrealistic for the Miami so Dolphins. To do. And besides the count, what'd you say? And the Cowboys are cheap. <laughs> but 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 the cow the Cowboys are cheap. We we all know they're cheap. They're they're cheap. They're they're saying Dak to the Raiders, and we need to stop this. That's not Dak to the Raiders. We we I would want to wish that. We We already got a car. Jesus Christ! I don't want to wish that. I don't want to wish that either. But I'm gonna just throw this. I'm gonna just throw this out here. I'll say one thing. One thing about our Las Vegas Raiders in the history of the Las Vegas Raiders. Cheap, 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 don't, the, cheap, don't the Raiders always reach? Don't we always reach for dumb shit like this? Let me it say it again. Fails. Let me no, say only it when again. I was old. Wait a minute. Let me finish. When it comes to draft picks, we reach. <laughs> Not lately. Not lately, but in the history of us drafting, we reach. <clears throat> when it comes yeah. to free agency, <laughs> we reach. Like what? We, we think like why do we pick this person in free agency when we have somebody that actually can be good for us? We don't go and get. 
Dak would be a reach. I don't see the Las Vegas Raiders paying him sixty million dollars a year. Why the hell would? But you I would not be surprised it? because it's fucking Mark Davis. He <laughs> loves no, to spend money. No. He <laughs> loves to spend money. Mark. So, so Mark do I really want Dak Prescott as a Raiders quarterback? For. No. But will I be will I be surprised that Mark Davis will pull this off? Hell I'm no. Surprised either. It's not the route we're taking. All right. The only listen. The only thing that pulls the Raiders towards a veteran quarterback is how good the defense is. Okay. Um, the defense is top five. Agreed. Right. Um, so it's hard to waste that. If you've got a, a team that can be, you know, a professional offense, then you are a serious contender to, to win when you have a defense that dominant. Right. I, um, I get that. So there is some of the whole, if we get a competent guy back there, we could put a another you know statue in the trophy case, right? Um, and it would be Mark's first. Now, right now, what they're pursuing is cheap quarterback model, right? And if you look at who we have to re-sign, um, Dak's not coming. Okay, we have to re-sign our own players. That's the model we're on right now. People are coming up um, that have to be brought back if we want to continue to have this defense. So. It's going to be the cheap quarterback on it was Aiden or, you know, cheap on, you know, Gardner Minshew or you know, draft pick next year. That is what Minshew, we're set for. This man. roster is set for that. Minshew, if we draft a quarterback man. next year, I'm, it's, this is the Raiders issue. As a fan, I am sick of the quarterback carousel. I'm sick. We of never it. draft quarterbacks at the top. I'm they would never it's, draft it's top quarterbacks. Like, it's this is insane. It's just like we have to be every year we go into an offseason about who's going to be our goddamn quarterback. I'm because tired of that. Because we keep band-aiding. Stop that. signing dudes that are like okay. Jimmy Garoppolo was a damn reach. Yes. Hello? Yes. yes. Instead of signing Jimmy Garoppolo, <laughs> you just, just draft you're a quarterback. Case. You're making my They're case. Afraid of I'm the... not saying – I'm saying draft a top quarterback. Where do you – where, do you the, only, the where only all the Super Bowl quarterbacks come from? Quarterback if we lose this year, that's the only way we draft the top quarterback. If we yes, are in the that's top because five, our, we're in the if we lose 10, this year, we're not be going because, to be. It would be because our quarterback is horrid, right? So that's how you end up with one of those top picks. So if he's well, not, you know. then you don't. So, if our, so, 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 just just answering this question, you predicting that we're going to have a top five pick or a top ten pick by the end of the Absolutely year? Absolutely not. No, I think. So where are we going to get a top quarterback in a draft at? If we're not in top so, five or top ten, so, so, so listen, you draft where you where you're at, right? It, it is what it is. If we have to trade up a little to get into one of the top, you know, four or five quarterbacks that are coming out, there's some good ones. Then you can do that. Um, you can also get quarterbacks in mid rounds that are successful. <laughs> it's best to get the first overall pick to get a quarterback if you want a Super Bowl winner, but that's hard to do, right? Yep. But uh. You know, you have to t- keep taking shots at quarterbacks and developing them. That's the thing. You got to draft one every year. You have to keep trying until you get it right. And you can't settle for We've mediocre for nine years now. and not draft anybody behind him. I, I understand this is a Dak conversation, but how long has the Raiders been trying to get a quarterback? For how many years now? Since, Jim since they blocked John Elway. Since since Jim Plunkett. Like don't get like don't get me wrong. Like people people might ridicule me for this. But I was a car fan. I was. I was. I was a Raiders fan first, but I did love Carr because because he was he was the he was the probably the most kiss not consistent, but he was the most person the longest person there that actually held it at the helm at that time. Not going to lie there, but no, pre- but before him before him we had quarterback issues. After him we have quarterback issues. So what does that tell you? Like, at, at this point, we have a, we always have a different offensive coordinator. We mm-hmm. always have a different coaching staff. We have a we always have a different office every year. Now we have a consistent defense that we've been begging for for years after year after year. year. We still have quarterback issues. Mm-hmm. Well, Rome wasn't built in a day. Typical okay. Raiders. Typical. It's typical. Well, it's how everybody every team rebuilds. Is that you get I, one I, I part that's really that. good, and then you? I, I you wouldn't do say the that. We, the Raiders, the Raiders had top ten picks, and 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 we and we went and we went and got players that's not even on the team in this top ten. 
Like we went and got players that didn't mm-hmm. even last a year. That that was top mm-hmm. ten picks. Jimmy Garoppolo, yes. anyone? John John Gruden is one of the worst drafters I've ever seen. It's it's really bad. Yeah, yeah he's, that, that, he's yeah. actually worse than Al when he was old, which is it. It, 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 it just well, I I love Antonio Pierce. I do, and Gar- Simon Gardner missed you to one year. And Gardner, it, 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 I understand Gardner Minshew does win football games in this league. Mm-hmm. He does. Mm-hmm. He, he could throw for he could throw for 3, 000, 3, 000 yards. He can do that. Mm-hmm. But if you want to look at stats, regular season stats, Dak Prescott is your guy. Unfortunately, I don't want it, but numbers don't lie. Mm-hmm. He's seventy four. He's he's seventy four and forty one as a quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. Those numbers lie. That's a lie. Because, those just numbers, because those numbers just lie. because just Wins because too, just because he Listen. doesn't have a winning record in the playoffs. Playoffs. We can say the same thing about the Raiders. When the last time we had a okay. winning record in the playoffs? We can say I, the same I need. Thing. I, so we can keep. Some I need to, to. me, is even. I need but to make a want, statement. If we okay. want a top 10 quarterback, if we want somebody yeah. that can throw for 4,000 okay. yards and sling mm-hmm. it, yeah, Dak Prescott no. is the best yeah. available for the Las Vegas Raiders. Quarter, let me, quarterbacks have some very specific things they have to do first and foremost yeah. in order to be successful. Yep. Quarterbacks must play well on third down in the final yep. two minutes of each half and in the playoffs. Quarterbacks if you don't do well those things, down, you are not a good quarterback. I don't care what else you do. Because those are prerequisites to winning football. Uh, he does not do those things, and therefore he is not a good quarterback. The last 15 years didn't play well on third down if that's the case. Wait, yeah, say that again. He hasn't had a good quarterback in a very long time. Yeah, but uh, since we were, we were, 2016 okay. car. Third down? I'll go, 2016. I'll go in, the last, in the last 10 years, in the la- I can say in the last 10 years, anything to you? in the last 10 years, or the last 15 years, Dak Prescott would be the best quarterback that we'll have. He will be. No. He will be. No. And, I mean, that's not saying anything. That's like, that's like saying like, in a room full of blind people, this guy has the best vision. Like, I'm not saying he's like. I'm not saying it, but if you look at the quarterbacks that we had outside of Derek Carr, who was better than Dak Prescott? Who was better than Dak Prescott? They're like the same. Carr and <laughs> Prescott is like. It's, it's like if Spider Man and one's black. I don't know. They're like the same. In the last 15 years, that was better than Dak Prescott. I'll wait. I will wait. I'm going to be waiting a while. Why Why is this better than. Oh, oh because, you know what? You're a Heat fan. Okay. Like, what matters is that you win a championship. This is what the Raiders do. They go out and get players, they over the draft, they reach, and they overpay for players. This is what the Raiders stigma has came to as Mark Davis as the owner. Don't have nothing to do with the coaches. Oh, don't have don't nothing think, to do with anything else. So. When it comes to the think. Las Vegas Raiders, when we went out and got Alex Leatherwood, when he was not even a first-round pick, and we got him in the first round. John Gruden. John Gruden. John okay. Gruden. Keep going. Hey, reach. John Gruden. Yes. Bad, bad address. Come on. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't matter if it's John Gruden. It doesn't matter if it does, though, because he was really bad. It doesn't matter if it's Josh McDaniels. It doesn't matter. We mm. do not draft well. Man, we're not going to draft well next year. We're just not. We don't draft well. We don't oh, do we will draft well. Free agency. No, 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 no. no. Certain people, the people don't draft well. This year. Sorry. See, see, you're, you're, you're being, you're, I understand that you're like caught in this view of only being, um, like, Aware when we were bad, and that's I'm sorry for for you for that. And that, no, that, it's that's, not aware. It's not, it's no, no, not, no, I get it. No, it's just an age thing, man. When things are repetitive as an organization, no, but wait, you have to but wait. Have I get to it. To like, <laughs> you cannot beat around the bush. I am a real Mr. Raider fan. I've been a Raider fan since '98, and I have seen this. I understand. I've been a Raider fan since 1980. We were actually good. No, I get it. Oh my god! Hold on. Just, I get. That I understand being a Raider fan awful. only when we were bad. But it, that's that's kind of what it's been. <laughs> We've only been bad, right? So you don't know. But like, are these are awful. some really bad GMs. Exceptionally. We have had a period where we had old Al Davis and then a, a kind of a vacuum of leadership where we had a coach trade away of picks for Carson Palmer when no one knows what was happening. Yeah. I mean, like it was bad, right? Like mm-hmm. and then Mark, 
Mark like learned how to be a good owner. No one in this league is going to help the Raiders or Mark Davis learn shit. Okay. He had to figure it out on his own. Dude was at PF Chang's like with the <laughs> like, owners for dummies book and shit, like doing what he had to do. Okay. He did what he had to do. <laughs> Got the stadium and a haircut. Now, you listen here. I would not be surprised. Then he hired a real GM. It's an I actual GM and he's making picks. Like a GM wait, makes pick. Wait, it's crazy. Time. A GM time. with experience. Time. With experience. Hold Stop. He says, hold the phone. Stop. Penalty flag on the I wouldn't field. be surprised if Dak is a, is a – I'm telling you, don't be surprised when Dak is a Raider next year. I don't oh want him to be. Heavens. I don't want him to be. I'm saying it uh, as me personally. I don't want Dak Prescott. But that's going to be the a Raiders don't guys, go with, you know, The Raiders don't do what the fans want. The Raiders out. do what the Raiders want to do. And then they'll, you guys will do your whole East Coast bias thing and be like, the Jets, the Jets are going to get da, 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 and then he'll get Dak. And yeah, it'll be a big story. What Dak East Coast the bias? Jets. Uh, all, what? <laughs> what? I'm sorry. Huh? Did you serious? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> what East Coast bias? I'm going to go to my phone now. Are you you're, you're serious? I'm going to have to get out of here. Because... The West Coast. There's no East Coast bias over here. Bullshit. Oh, on the West Coast. It's different on the West Coast. Bullshit. Okay. No East Coast bias over there, right? Don't you ever in life, Marion, tell that lie again. What? Wait. What? What is East Coast bias? I don't know. Covering um, certain stuff because it's you're too tired to pay attention to other stuff that's playing later (sighs) with other teams. Um, a Raider fan talking about right? talking talking about the Jets all day, like we care about the Jets. The Jets haven't won in 150 freaking years. I live. Nobody cares. I lived in Oakland, California, and my family's over there, and they were the Raider Knicks? fans, and, they, and I'm still a Raider Stop fan. Now. Tell me about the Knicks. No one cares about the Knicks. The Knickerbockers. What 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 the what the Knicks got to do with anything? Nah, hell yeah, the New York Knicks Haven't won since 1973. The all right, East Coast, it's not East. I don't even like the goddamn Knicks. I don't even like New York. But you know, like you know the whole roster, don't you? I don't know the roster for New York. I don't care for New York. <laughs> I don't. I don't care for New York. I don't even care for the. I don't even care for the Philadelphia Eagles. I wear my Raider shit all the time in Philadelphia. Listen, listen. all the he just time. Named a, this is how East Coast bias is. He named some teams. The only one from the West Coast was the Raiders. <laughs> oh, now only one team on the West Coast. I thought the Lakers was on the West Coast too. <laughs> I, that, you said the Lakers. It's the first time in two hours. The Las hours, Vegas Golden Knights, the Dodgers. He can the, name the Angels. Do we have? Do I have to keep going? Do you cover them? <laughs> why do I cover a team that I don't like? Why do I cover, do I cover West Coast teams that I don't like? Are you serious? <laughs> what? The Oakland, who, hold up. Who covers the fucking Oakland A's? Please. Nobody covers the A's. I don't know, but you might want to cover the Dodgers, the Nobody. best team in baseball. For like the no, last, no, I, I don't know, even, decade. I don't even, no, no, I don't even. I don't even cover baseball. I don't cover mm, baseball. Mm, Only mm. because you can't pronounce the names. I don't cover baseball because baseball is a long ass boring sport. It's very boring. Yeah, it's cover. very boring. It's very yeah, yeah. It's too damn long of a sport. Even with the even with the pitch clock, it's still boring. I know. Just speed it up. Just put the Dodgers in the in the uh, the thing so we can have a bye, and then like we always do. Come on, let's go. Hurry up. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> and no one will cover it. They'll steal our World Series and no one will care because we don't exist. <laughs> oh, I listen, I listen. You can talk, die, you can talk baseball with that person over there. I'm out of it. I'm tapped out. When it comes to baseball, I'm tapped out. I don't know shit about it. Don't tell that line. I don't. Notre Dame. Why are we talking about Notre Dame? East Coast bias. <laughs> Notre Dame, ain't Indiana yeah. in the Midwest? It's East Coast. Kind of. It's not really the thing, East this whole time zone East stuff. Wait no one minute. cares about Notre Dame. And, 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 and this is how, and folks, this is how they have their own channel. Folks, 
This is how the show started when we were talking about Notre Dame 120 <laughs> minutes ago. <laughs> you know talk about Notre Dame, please. We did for 10 minutes. Hey. Yeah, because you told your whole story about how you went Northwestern to beat their ass, and you got Didn't ridiculed you know. about that. I Didn't also Napoleon got Harris go of to Northwestern that year. Was Napoleon Harris there at Northwestern? No, that, Napoleon that Harris had graduated. He never graduated. Because, nice. Yeah, he was a year prior because okay. the big back at Northwestern at that time was Darnell Autry. Yeah. But well, overall, yo, the fact that he said we the need to, they're going to be some short right folks. If you don't catch the podcast version of this show or the shorts on the Darren Hopkins Sports Show YouTube page, I guarantee you, you need to catch this one <laughs> because yes. they're going to be I'm I'm preparing for tomorrow night for the, for tomorrow's game because I know my wife's due home in a, in a little bit. So I'm hanging out with y'all to, to the end. <laughs> Darian, I say this play, I, I say this playfully and I say this with all the love in my heart. First of all, Darian, I love you dearly, but you started this shit. <laughs> I start, yeah. No. No, I did not. I'm just hot it. beavers. Number I'm just one, being me. Number one, I asked the question, will Dak Prescott move on from the Dallas Cowboys? But you got to blame the comment. You That's started comment, this. Shit. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's it's problem. You no, pushed the button and me? started this shit. What did it I was do? Comment. Darian look, started this saying, shit. Look, Anthony <laughs> Price was trolling. Dak would be a giant next year. Or Dak be a Raider next year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's Anthony Price no, no, no. pulling that shit. Look, no, no, no. who's the next tight end to come out of the Raiders getting them? Rolling. Okay, okay, you now we fighting. Okay, you, you know what? Yeah, okay, I see you. Yeah, who you like? I don't even know who you like yet, but I'm gonna start talking Anthony shit. Price, he likes, he likes mm -hmm. Are you a Giants fan? You got like negative tight ends. You're He's tied in retired. <laughs> <laughs> retired. He's an Oregon Duck, He's an Oregon Duck fan. Oh, oh. I don't have anything to say. I mean, it's the Ducks. What well, the Oregon jersey Oregon did you have? It's Today. a man. Commander's fan, ain't you? You a Commander's fan. As, as my wife says best to me when I make her laugh so hard, her stomach hurts. Quit that shit. My stomach mm. hurts. <laughs> Between Darian going off several times <laughs> and coach it's down below, wait a minute, and coach mm. down below just zinging people right and left I while know. okay, blame. I get, I get, wait a minute, comments. I wasn't even blames. I, listen, and I wasn't fires. even looking at my, I got, I got to be honest, I was, I wasn't even looking at my screen, I was getting stuff ready. And uh, preparing stuff in, a, in another program, and then coach just starts zinging people, and I'm leaning back here in this chair, <laughs> cracking up. I like I rant. said, y'all, there are going to be some shorts from this show <laughs> that y'all need to watch. Oh my god! <laughs> Listen, I'm you I'm started this shit. <laughs> Thank the chat. Look, look, see, see. <laughs> Can we bet Raiders will draft a tight end next year? You see what I'm talking about? You, you see know what? what I'm talking about? You know, you know what? Okay. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised. That's I'm my just only mind my business. I'm I just mind my business. Bullshit. I you were big. You were no, 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 no. Do I have to look break look down look the look 12, 12 personnel why we have our tight end? Yes. I should have never looked at the comments. What? You know what? Don't tell that lie. Wait a minute. Darian always says this. I should have never looked at the comments, which you're going to do anyway. You know, I tried not to. You see, I wasn't pulling it. You're not going to put up the comments for a while. Just moment. This whole Just show, moment. This whole Just show moment. I wasn't doing it. Let me invoke a little Bill Cosby here because I borrow this from 1996. Darian says, I, I should never have looked at the comments, which is a lie. <laughs> I don't really look at the comments, though, Snowman. Come on, which man. is a I lie. I don't. Which is a lie. <laughs> Jesus Christ.
lies. It's not a lie. It is a lie. It's not a lie. You know damn well it's a lie. Nah. Because if it was a if it was not a lie, you wouldn't have steam coming out of your earphones. You wouldn't have steam coming out of your nose, and you wouldn't utter my, my steam started when mainstream media made Aaron Rodgers an elite <laughs> quarterback. That's when my steam started. <laughs> That's exactly when my steam started. Touche. Fair enough. Fair enough. Did, like, Fair uh, enough. did, did Aaron Rodgers piss in your Cheerios this morning, or what happened? You know no, what? No, I think Darian Aaron. Hopkins. I'm just I think, to, wait a minute. I, I think D Hop got a beer this morning to get started. No, actually, and then I didn't. News, and then news of Aaron Rodgers showed up and it pissed in his beer. He just yeah. no. <laughs> it just said him no, off. because 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 I it, it, it just brought back memories. That's why it brought back memories because. <laughs> Let Are you like a Vikings right. fan or something? Or? No, no, let me, let me tell you. Let me, let me, let me, let me tell you why. I'm sorry. Because this is where I separate mm-hmm. the realistic Raider fan and the um, non-realistic Raider fan. Oh, like what I have to do when every morning is dealing with a cowboy. Waters supposedly being traded to us. Uh-huh. That would piss me off. Why? Really? For because, the purpose of what? Why? Because like. <laughs> It's Aaron Rodgers. He has not one shit. He has not one really? shit. And he probably would have. He probably would have had the mm. same Achilles tendon if he was with the Las Vegas Raiders. It wouldn't have been no different. Let's just be realistic here. No. He won and we were not ball. giving up. We wouldn't have went to the Super Bowl with Aaron Rodgers. But he already won one of those. He won one of those in the last twelve years. You're I mean, talking about Dak. Aaron Rodgers would be the best quarterback no. we ever See, had. I think I understand my logic with Dak. Do I want Dak as a quarterback? No. But would the Raiders pull it off and go get Dak? Yes. No. Oh, That's if, what they I'm pull, if they so, pull that, Darian, if they pull that off, I'm, I'm, I won't be surprised because I've seen it so many times where we if they pull over, that off, in the history of the Raiders, we see minute. we go get players that we overpay for. We just if, do that. And if they pull that off, D Hop's next three words, thank you, Mel Blank, for these. Ooh, I'm dying. <laughs> but I'm not saying I, I'm I'm saying I don't want I'm saying I don't want that. I don't want him. I, I don't want the Raiders to pay that kind of money. I don't want them to do that. I don't want Dak Prescott next year. I don't. And I'm putting that <laughs> and I'm putting that on paper. I'm putting I don't want Dak Prescott. But will I be? I won't be surprised if the Raiders do it. I'm just saying. I'm not. I, I'm just saying. Like when it comes to expectations with the Raiders and stuff that they do, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just keep my mouth shut because whatever happens, happens. I'm gonna. I'm gonna trust the process when it comes to that. This is the thing. Like it would be now, surprising where have I to heard me. that before. He said, "Trust the process." <laughs> Can we use a different word? <laughs> Can we use something different, bro? Ah, 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 so we you Sixers? It used to be a Sixers fan. I'm sorry about that. Okay. He said trust the uh, process. I'll have there... faith in management. That's not what okay. you said. <laughs> when it comes down to it. Uh, That's not what you I said. Think, uh, trust the process. I think that... <laughs> Keep the focus. <laughs> Trust the pro. Sorry. Anyway. <laughs> oh, that worked out, didn't it? Oh man. So you know what? You could not have I, timed that any better. You could not have sense. timed or said that any better this to you listen to the reaction report show. That's what I feel. What? This is gang up on Darian Hopkins on the Darian Hopkins show. I we're That's not ganging saying, up at all. Yeah. It's mostly just me by myself, and he laughs. No, so, Brian, no, you know, Brian, sitting, Brian's right with you on that because I see it. I I'm see sitting it. back here. La- listen, I'm He's not ganging just, up on anybody. Uh, I'm just sitting back here listening to Coach Zing your ass, and I'm laughing at you at the same time. <laughs> That's it. Mm. <laughs> okay. That's what you think, but okay. <laughs> Okay. Like, <laughs> you know. would, would, would you be surprised if the Raiders go get Daniel Jones? We're not getting no goddamn Daniel Jones. Shit. Okay. So this is a no. Daniel Jones. <laughs> okay. That's overpaid. overpaid. All right. This is the only time I was like, overpaid. Yeah. Now you want to talk somebody that's overpaid? That's Daniel Jones. That's actually. Daniel Jones. Yes, it is. <laughs> we yeah. are in this weird position, though, guys, because. We want to develop a quarterback. That's the big plan. So it would be surprising if we ditched that plan. That's what would surprise me. But 
we also have to remember, like, if the defense performs the way we think, then we are just like a kind of uh, game manager away from, you know, being in the Super Bowl. The Niners have Brock Purdy, and he manages games. He makes plays outside the pocket. He protects the football, and look where they're at, right? They've got a good scheme and a good defense. You can go all the way to winning the whole damn thing you know, with a mediocre game manager and a top, top defense. So at what point do we start to be like, hold your nose, put a quarterback in, and let the defense do what it does, right? Um, so that's going to be the question. We'll talk right. about it more on the Marina podcast, especially with the whole <clears throat> quarterback situation there because mm-hmm. – Training camp is this week. You know, the Raiders play on Saturday against the Vikings on um yep. I think it was like I think it's what is it going to be another time if I'm not mistaken? Would you, is, it gonna be another three, is it gonna be another three nothing game? No. no. You know what? Is, is it gonna be another three nothing game? Is it gonna be one no. of those that urinating tree separates as the greatest game? No, no, no. I hate urinating tree. Minutes. I can't stand his ass. I can't why. I think he's, he's funny. And shit, his man. videos are so annoying, but they're funny. To me, no, they're funny. no, no. When 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 your voice is annoying, I'm trying to listen to you in my headphones. I have to go like this and be like, "Fuck this shit! I don't want to hear it." No. Okay. He's annoying. But you still listen. I I listen for five seconds, then I turn the shit off because his voice is just that annoying. And now fine. you know you cannot tell that lie with that steam coming out of no, your nose. Ain't no steam here. I just think he's. I just think yeah, urinating tree is. You look like a I urinating think, tree. That's exactly I think what he looks he's like. Fucking, I think he's fucking hilarious. Hmm. I but, um, he's, I think he's hilarious with some of the things with some of the things that he comes up with, and I subsequently use. But like I said, y'all, there's going to be a ton of shorts from this show. A ton. Hmm. Especially if we I got had the time to put the shorts together. If I had the time. He'll make the, yeah. folks. He'll make the time. There'll be cuts. There'll be cuts. He'll cut. I'll make cuts. I just, get, I just gave it's you called, one big it's called AI. A Fuck couple it. of weeks ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's I a couple of weeks ago. I gave you one big cuts. secret. It's called open clips. That's exactly what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you're gonna and, and you're gonna have all your cuts done in 30 minutes. I wouldn't say 30 minutes. I'll I will say do. an hour. I say an hour. You're too. gonna have all your cuts done in 30 minutes. We're doing some. These will be some cut supremes. Cuts with mm-hmm. yeah, B roll yeah. and lots of B, lots of B roll. That's gonna be some B roll. That's gonna be yeah. some B roll like a son <laughs> bitch. This I'm that great at shorts now. I'm still learning how to use them damn B rolls. I'm learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should so, do a. I, I'm, a, I'm not gonna sit there and lie to you. It might, it might be some yeah. B-roll, but it might not. Be some. Because I'm still learning how to do them. Things. Some. Okay, you should. Some. Yeah, like, some. Who are we talking? Some. Who are we talking That's about here? That's only probably like four. So some. Some. Okay. We're all learning, man. We're all just learning for real. So like. Yeah, we are. Yeah. We are. Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's all good. Though. Some. You can't get more natural than that, man. You know what? If you snowman, <laughs> what? I can't. Yes, you did. I can't. I, I'm not. I'm not doing this with you today. I'm not. I didn't say any. What did I say? What did I say? <laughs> but <laughs> yo, <laughs> you know what? You lucky. You lucky. I just. You lucky. I'm just not going to meet you right now. Why? All right. One <laughs> last. One last question. One, for you. one last question, and then we gonna we gonna head out. All right. What about? Trying to get Hendon Hooker next year. You're despicable. <laughs> Hello? I'm asking the Tennessee fan, actually. Huh? The person who actually knows. I, 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 when you asked that question, I think he what? just, uh, uh, I think he had to take a call because someone actually yeah. tried to catch him off guard. No, it's actually called him, yeah. No, but uh, someone, act- someone actually him. called, someone actually called him. Mm-hmm. When repeat repeat your co- repeat your question again, coach. Yeah, repeat the question. The question is: you've you've had some some nice things to say about the player. He may become available next season. Is Hendon Hooker a viable option as a developmental quarterback for the Raiders? You're despicable. Yeah, I think he can be. Thank it's you, a, Tennessee fan who actually watches. 
Yeah. Tennessee football, yeah, absolutely. Yes. yes. I think he I think he can be. Tiger, I mean, you know, it's going to be, you know, they 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 will keep Aiden O'Connell. We don't mm-hmm. know if we won't have Gardner Minshew next year. He, the quarterback room is going to look completely different next year. So, what I, I'm yeah. not going to rule out hitting Hooker. Hendon Hooker I'm not should rule be a starter. Hendon Hooker should be my a only, starter. My only issue with hitting Hooker is is that we don't have enough tape from him in Detroit. Mm-hmm. One. And two, you know how 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 is he off that that knee injury? Because we don't right. we haven't seen enough tape to see how healthy he is. Right. Yeah. So that's the only two like concerns to. that I have. But other than that, I will I will see him as an option. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I, I would like take him. I would take him. Be- I would take him before Dak Prescott. <laughs> yes. Thank you. I, I agree. Like, I what, agree. That's what I'm saying. Like I, I absolutely I, I don't agree want with Pre- that. I don't want Dak Prescott because he's going to want that sixty million a year. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, like worth- Raiders just love to spend money. They mm-hmm. do. They love to spend money. But I, I, I just hope next year we Dak is not even a goddamn option for us. That's all I'm saying. That don't let it be like. It's not a Telesco thing. He doesn't do that. Mm-hmm. He likes to draft quarterbacks. So. And he That's likes to overpay because you know with the Chargers he had the worst salary cap there too. That wasn't his fault. The owner's mm-hmm. son was involved in some of that and messed it all up for him. So I fucked it. You know. Yeah, but then Hooker, yeah, I, I like that. I kind of like that option. You know, still young, just got to get some experience under his belt and live play. That's all. Young, young. He was like thirty-four when he got drafted, right, or something like that. 34, <laughs> Damn, thirty-four. <laughs> like thirty-five. I don't remember. Wait. It was old. Wait, what? <laughs> that would be crazy. No, he was like 28. I swear to you. Like, right? 29 or something? That was Brandon Whedon. That was Brandon Whedon. That was Brandon Whedon. That was Brandon, that was Brandon, Whedon. Brandon Whedon was like 29. He was 29. Um, no, he what? was like 26. I think. Getting drafted. <laughs> Wait, he said 30. Four goes crazy. What? Something like that. This man like, said thirty. He seemed old. He had like a pension. Zero <laughs> <laughs> price or something. It was... he, had a, he, he had his retirement plan. <laughs> he did. He was all Smith Bonnie. They made well invested in stuff. I was like, wow. They uh. Oh my God! He kept his dresser clean all the time. I was like, man. (laughs) (laughs) Not his dresser clean. What? (laughs) This is definitely going on the B roll, folks. (laughs) Listen, I don't even want my. I don't even want my. I don't want my face in this reel when it comes to hitting Hooker being 34 years old getting drunk. <laughs> <laughs> be on the be well, the evidence is already out there. For those who tuned <laughs> in, they already saw your face. Oh, yeah. Now we're just waiting yeah, on you yeah. to do the right thing and cut the hell out of it. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, yeah. When it comes to hitting Hooker you being gotta, drunk at 34 years old, dude, that, you got to cut that yeah. one. That's got to be one of your main cuts. You got to cut that one. Oh, yeah. Have we seen the birth certificate, though? I mean, (laughs) just saying. Have we seen seen proof of his age? Lord Jesus. I mean, mean, do we actually have contact? I remember Raul Mondesi was like 28, and then like two years later, he retired. He was like 40. Like, yep. I mean, he gained 12, he gained 12 years. He he gained 12 Mm -hmm. years toward retirement in two years and got all the benefits. It's crazy. Will oh that happen God. for him? Will that happen for Hendon Hooker too? I don't know. Do we is, actually have contact with the hospital. Is he from Cuba? Because the if, for Cuba, they just pick any. We actually age. talked about this. Um, yeah, we hit this early in the show. We hit this earlier in the show. Just to just to brief update you, we just you know at the end of the day, this person was this mm-hmm. the, that woman was born female, not transgender. Yeah. She was born with more testosterone than estrogen. Father confirmed that. At the end of the day, the person is a woman. The girl was just not tough enough to be a boxer at the 46 seconds at this point. It wasn't a disadvantage at all. And it was just an excuse to try to throw it out there. And she tried to make it seem like now she wants to apologize. 
that she put no, it out wait, here. Wait, 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 just a minute. Now we are we spent a whole bunch of time today talking about Tennessee athletics, right? Mm. Thompson Bowling Arena, Neyland Stadium, the checkerboard, and I forgot I had this. Yeah. And just to I will say, more, and I will just say to, those uniforms are cold. Just cold. Mm-hmm. and just to piss off Darian a little more. Don't. <laughs> so at the end of the Georgia, day, that's, that's Georgia. That was Georgia. At the end oh. of the day, that's oh, just okay. what that's just what it is. That's just what it is. Carson Beck. It's gonna be interesting to watch him. Heisman Trophy candidate. Yeah, he's my QB one right now. Same. And since Darian mentioned the San Diego Chargers. Don't play nothing, please. Too late. <laughs> Is this disco? Yeah, baby. It's disco with a lot of funk in it. There you go, D. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they should be ashamed of themselves. Sweet God. This is their song proudly. <laughs> and they wear baby blue like it's okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, when, when, Jack, when Jack Murphy Stadium was. No, the there's thing. only 12. There's only 12 Chargers fans. They're like only. Awesome. And I know one of the 12. That's the crazy they, cloth, they go door to door trying to convince people to become Chargers fans, but no one makes their pamphlets. I think or even answers the door that. because wait a minute. I think they were doing that in 1980 when they mm. somehow got to the AFC championship game and then Raymond Chester ruined all of that oh, off a of deflection. Yeah. You remember that, I don't remember you? When they, it was, yeah. thir- it was yeah. third and four. The Chargers came with a blitz and Plunkett was talking pressured. about the Chargers. We're not talking about no damn Let Chargers. me finish. We're not talking no we not you let me about, will you let me finish? Damn no, it. No, we're not talking about the Chargers on this show. The but Chargers kitty the charge can't even charge up themselves. Will you let please. me finish the play, please? No. No. Well, I'm gonna finish it anyway. On a third and four, Plunkett dropped the throw. Chargers came with a blitz. They didn't get home. Plunkett let it go. It was tipped. And then Raymond Chester made a one-handed catch and took it the rest of the distance for the Raiders. We do not yes. want to talk about a team that can't even charge themselves up as a team. That would they be like they too. like they like an iPhone charger with no with, with no uh. Then describe. They don't have one of these. How you charging? How you charging? How you charging? You don't have one of these. You're you not know? charging shit. So, like I said, it, if it's defective, you should just throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what you do with a bad charger. Just toss Enough it. said. They're cheap. So. You, you you pitch it in the trash and it's gone. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Little, like, it. little, oh little lightning god. bolts and stuff when you throw it away and you just yeah, that's it. Oh my god, this was hilarious. <laughs> but. Uh, look, we 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 going we going to head out of here because this is one of the best yes. episodes of season two. I'm not gonna lie, this, this is, is the best one we've done in, a, the best in a long we time. Did, it, it, it's just general talk, you know. So it's, it's conversational, it's fun, you know, yes. debates, everything of that nature. Probably, I'm happy that we didn't talk about Jalen Hurst. I didn't want to talk about that shit anyway. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to talk about that shit anyway. <laughs> Why? What are you worried about? Uh, I didn't want to about Dylan Hurts being an MVP candidate because I just don't see. Are you that. worried because okay, he's let me, probably? Let me ask a question. Out. Let me ask a question. What was the, what was the, um, what do y'all think was the best topic we we talked about today? Because I got to say, I, I I got to say it's a tie. Hmm. Between, I, it, I think it's a tie too. I think it's between the the dream team. Yep. And Dak Prescott. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, three way tie. Aaron Rodgers. Oh, oh yeah, Aaron Rodgers. Three way three way tie. Because the yeah. moment Darian mentioned Aaron Rodgers, you saw 
I tell you what, yeah. does anybody remember the old TV show, The Incredible Hulk? Yeah. Yes. yes. That was Darian when Aaron Rodgers came it. up. The the oh, yeah. green glint you know, in his eye. Yep. Yeah. Yes. When when Bill Bixby turned and you saw those green contacts come out mm-hmm. and then Luke Perigno yeah. pop out of nowhere, that was D. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. that was D when the subject of Aaron, Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers is not an elite quarterback. <laughs> yes, but um, that was a whole smash wait. Uh, there's no strong foundation via Cash App at Tall Man Dr. K. Fifty. Make sure y'all go support that. Um, y'all see my Cash App as well, which is um at Dallas on D Hopkins Show. If y'all do want to donate, everything goes back into the channel for the Darian Hopkins Sports Show. Um. So for for Snowman in the morning, what you got coming up, you know, next, you know, for your channel? Um, lots of foot. We're into football now. We're going to be talking a lot of football. And I got a couple of special guests coming on to talk some college football as we'll look at the ACC tomorrow morning. Well, you, if you want to throw it out there to them, tell them, let them know I'm looking for people for a college football show for Saturday mornings. So, oh, beat you to it. I'm already there. Dude, I'm here. What are you looking for? Okay. I mean, you know, you, you it, it just can't be you, though. You know? <sighs> Do you need anything else? It, it, can't mean, be, it just can't be you, though. Man. You know okay. I mean? I'm not going to lie, though. I mean, my, my boy Hobby is definitely a, a, a working man. When wait, it comes to the, wait, the wait, wait. Is, wait. I'm not going to lie. Wait. Time out. Time out. Time out. <laughs> what? What? I'm trying, to get, I'm trying to end the show. We two it hours and 30 way, minutes in, man. But it was the way you said... With a straight damn face, it can't just be you though. <laughs> <laughs> listen, that, listen. I, I, I didn't mean that. No I, I just said it with a straight. I, I, I just had a regular, regular face, like I. Which is a lie. No man, stop, it's not. Stop, <laughs> stop. I already know what you're getting at here. I already know what you're getting at here. Stop. But I didn't say anything. <laughs> OG, OG, it's fine. Tiger, well, of course, of course, you want to be a part of it. You know, we we could talk on the back end on that one. So I'm still, I, I do want like you and three other people though, like you know, just just from oh, like man. one person from like the, some like one person from each of the top co- top conferences. Conferences, yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be so good. So at least I get like yeah. Big Ten or uh, I'm not really a, well Big Ten. SEC. I can get I can get you for the Big Ten. If it can be for the Big Ten, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, I'll be I'll be following. Well, I probably represent the SEC. Technically, I'm S I'm USC, so I guess that's Big Ten. Oh yeah, boom! Oh, Damn, unfortunately, uh, the logistics are going to be a nightmare. Yeah, it's going to be weird. I don't know. That's I don't know how to feel about it, man. <clears throat> you know. But um, but that's Hobby, what you got coming up next on your channel, and you know, let people know where they where uh, they can do it. Yeah, come on over to Raider Nation Hotspot YouTube. You can find me all over social, Hot Beavers. Um, we got episode two of Hot Mess, um, which is crazy and funny. And we're going over kind of the whole Kermit debacle and the way the media uh, took a look at that and what that means and yes. what the Al Davis Raider way really is and uh, what, what that Al means Davis for <laughs> For how we how we treat our rivals and uh, how we dominate, right? So uh, yeah, it's fun stuff. And then uh, you know, I have working with uh, got some live streams of Raider D channel. and highlights. We're gonna be going over a preview in each of the the teams. We'll be out at the Raiders practice on the twentieth. You guys can watch that, and we'll be at the stadium a lot. And so you never know who will pop in for a live stream, players and stuff like that. So yeah. I have since subscribed to your channel because I got the feeling I'm gonna I'm gonna wind up loving the coverage. Oh yeah, he's going. Yeah, he's he does do great coverage. Though. I, I, I just let me lot. let me throw y'all some flowers before we get on out of here. This is one of the best shows I've been a part of in a long time, <laughs> and I mean every word of that awesome. because it seems like every time Darian gets mad at a subject, we are on the floor laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, his 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 anger is so funny looking. I don't it, know. Is, it, it is. It is. It is very funny. Especially when, su- when especially when subjects of the Miami Heat, the Philadelphia oh, 76ers, man. and Aaron Rodgers show up like they all did today. And Boy, I'm looking at I'm looking at Raider Nation's uh hotspots channel now, 
and I'm looking at the I'm looking at the preview, and there's a clip that came in, and all we see is him just like shaking his head with. <laughs> 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 it's it's um it's it's your hot mess um episode Preview. one yeah, trailer episode one yeah I mean yeah. Let's all see I have to see. check out the hot mess too make sure y'all go check that yes out. the yeah. hot mess is gonna be a hot mess and I'm here for it and I'm gonna love every yeah. minute of it just with that yeah, shaking yeah. the head of, folks check out the radio <laughs> you, you know he did that shaking the head a lot today too so peep it peep it. But you know, you know, I, it's this preview, but it's this preview right here where some something happened, and then all you see it cuts to him, and he's just <laughs> like a but, like a but, disappointed like a disappointed father at a kid that brings home bad grades or something like that. Damn, this is often. This is from a father's yeah. stamp. This is from a father's I'm, standpoint. I'm okay? dad, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you get you get it. Yeah, yeah. Got to have a serious right. dad face. That right there. That. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I can't yeah. do it because I'm laughing too much. It's I can't. an upside down smile. It like smiles mm -hmm. reverse. Yeah. It's and right. and one and and half of one eye is closed as you're looking at yes. your children with the Squinting. with the back. You read. You're reading a, a scowl. Wait a minute. You see a little bit of scowl. You're holding the card like this, and you're just reading mm -hmm. it. You're. Oh, and yeah. one of the eyes is closed. <laughs> the perpetual head shaking. Mm -hmm. right. Nothing's good. Make sure y'all go follow my boy Brian Snow, Snowman in the morning. You know he'd be... I'm surprised you wasn't on this morning, surprisingly, but... I, know I, got, I got home late, and so, I went... I got home... When you see, when you see Snowman door. in the morning preview, you yeah, will definitely yes. know you definitely getting one hell of a show on a Snowman in the morning. Thank you. Uh, Thank so you make much. sure y'all follow him on all social media, Snowman Multimedia, uh, on all, all social media platforms. Same thing for High uh, Beavers, which is uh, Radio Nation mm -hmm. Hotspot. Make sure y'all go Come check him out over there. And yes. you know, with me, a hot shot. To... <laughs> <laughs> we got to go. We yeah, got to go. Follow, yeah, we can follow follow me on all social medias as well at the Hopkins Show. Tomorrow, make sure y'all tune in on the Nothing But Raider Podcast YouTube channel, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time is already set up. And that's going to be our first episode. But we're just talking all Raiders. We're going to have my man, All Aboard A Raiders, on there. We're going to have my boy, uh, Shake Back Media Group. He's going to be on there. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a, a nice little panel talking Raiders football. It's going to be really it's fun. Gonna be fun. It's, it's going to be very be, interesting. It's going to be fun, folks. Yeah, it, it's, yes. it's gonna be dope. It's definitely gonna be dope. Bro. I enjoyed it, gentlemen. I enjoyed it. Very, very yes, much. This was awesome. But uh, me. This make sure y'all subscribe to all of them, hit the like buttons, you know. Support support what they're doing, man. You know, you know, we it's some good people out here doing some great quality work. Go out mm -hmm. and support them, you know. So we all trying to make it big some way, somehow, no matter how we do it, we it's just gonna happen. So yes, it is. It is it's, yes, it's, it is it's, it's gonna happen. So so win, support win. people that support you at the end of the day. So with that being said, y'all, I'm going to head out because I know I got to work on these shorts according to Brian Snow. and <laughs> I got to go work on these shorts, but uh, make sure y'all check this audio. Make sure y'all check this audio podcast out on one uh, on the Block 105 Radio Wednesday night. Um, nice. I'm, I'm going to have to condense this because I only can have an hour show on there, so I'm only I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the Aaron Rodgers rant. So, <laughs> <laughs> what, what you right. say? Cut Aaron Rodgers rant. Keep it. Oh, I'll keep it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put. Yeah, I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna put the most, the most interesting topic. Keep the so. Aaron, so. the Aaron Rodgers rant, and the USA team, the Team USA debate sold the show. All okay. Right? So, yep, yep, yep. If that, if that, if that takes up most of the hour, then I'm putting that, and I'm not putting yes. nothing else on there. Yes. But, um, yes. <laughs> until then, y'all. Until next time. Salute to y'all. It will salute. see y'all. Probably not the Say rest hi. of this week, but. Uh, cause I'm doing, I'm doing live play by plays on this channel all week. So, mm -hmm. uh, see y'all later. Comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. We out and I'll see y'all on the next live stream or in the next video. Darian Hopkins sports show. Yeah. Listen up sports fans. Your favorite sports book, betus.com is back for our 28th year of NFL action. With the industry's biggest sign-up bonus of up to 200%, BetUS offers our members the opportunity to cash in on all your favorite sports, including NFL, NBA, MLB, and more. 
We've also got hundreds of new casino games, including the coolest new European slots, and our live dealers are waiting for you at the table. Sign up at BetUS.com today to get into the action. BetUS, where the game begins.